chat. I'm here for a date. How are you? How are you doing? Have you been well? I have not seen you in many a day and several a night. How are you? Good to see you. Every time I come onto this stream, I honestly, I feel really happy because I feel like there's a lot of good folks out there and I like spending time with you. Capernostic, hello. I'm really sorry I didn't see you this week, guys. I didn't have a bit as much. I just, I dressed up today. I figured we need to have a little date together. It's been too dang long. I haven't seen you all week. It's been since Sunday. It's now Thursday. Um, it's good to see you. I love seeing the, the familiar names in chat here. I see Smoof. I see Ted. I see Saints fan. I see Delta 9. ZXSQ is in here. Wary Canary. Reno. Pleasance. Thomas. Zealoth. Moose Rider. Bob Ross Squirrel. Lovely to see you, dude. Boy Goose. I smile every time I see you, bro. Good to see you. I'm, I'm so happy you're here. Uh, Techie, dude. Hey, what up, dude? Uh, hi. I came in low energy today. Cidermane, hello. Good to see everybody. I'll get to all the sub and bit thanks in just a second. Um, I don't see Waldo, but I see several others, frankly. What a strange week. Some big goods and some weird bads. Here's a little quick update. My dad is doing okay, I think. Uh, we found out like a week ago that he has a deep leg vein throm thrombosis, which essentially is a blood clot. Just want to bring you up to speed on that. I... First of all, I appreciate the hell out of people for uh, kind of checking in and asking. And also, just bluntly, I know Tim sent me a message. I know uh, several other folks have been ask active in the Discord. I have been checked out this week. <clears throat> Apologies for that. I hope everybody's going, uh, going as good as you can be right now. I've been checked out for that. I, I'm hosting our friend Dave Mickelfatrix in town. That's my partner that we're, using, uh, that we're doing the game stuff with. God, I have a million things to tell you. I got to try to organize my thoughts. Uh, he's my co-creative director on the video game. We're having a litany of meetings in person here. We just had a big lunch meeting. And also, not that I don't care about you, but that's the reason I dressed up today was, <laughs> was the lunch meeting over there. It went very, very well. Um, I have a separate big, big job opportunity to helm a project I'm very excited about. So... I will probably be able to tell mods a little bit too, but I also don't want to like preemptively be like, it's not in the bag, you know what I mean? So I didn't want to be like, oh, I have this opportunity yet. I obviously can't talk about it, but I think I'd, I would probably reach out to the mods. I just tell you, it's a good thing that's very exciting. Um, excuse me, and the game is going well. It has nothing to do with game design. Um, oh, Jeff is here. Good to see you, Jeff. And Tim. Hello, Tim. Hello, Casey. Hello, Alti, by the way. Um, I just realized I was like, I feel like I was being too serious. So that's what's going on this week. We're trying to hit GDC. I'm going to be at GDC for a couple days this week, or this this year rather, but March is an insane month for me because I'm hosting, uh, or let me see, last week my parents were in town, then Ben Ball was staying with us. Uh, he was in from uh, out of the country, and then Dave is staying with us now till Saturday, and then we have like a two day break, and then Sven and four of his friends are going to be staying in our house. It's a small house. It's probably about like 1,100 square foot, single bathroom. So we got people coming through. It's all of Sven's friends and my brother Thor. And then my sister and my brother Thor are going to be with us for a few days too. So pretty much the entirety of March, I've got people crawling through my house like crazy. Also, several cool shirts film days uh, around here. Sven and Ryan Leader and Matt Shaver and Ben Ball are making content for cool shirts. Fucking love cool shirts. Uh, they're working with Scott, the intern, uh, you know, Australian company stuff. If you know, like Max and Chad and Cold Ones and stuff, it's all those guys. So um, love that. But they've been shooting like crazy over here. It has been a whirlwind of a week. Um, just really want to give a quick update about my dad. We had a fucking super scary two days, and that was a big reason why I honestly just did not want to get on stream. But we feel like we have a few more answers and some promise and stuff. Uh, love my mom, but got a zero context photo of my dad in a hospital gown in a bed, and I was like, what the hell are we doing? Um, fortunately, I think we have a few more answers because... The guy is getting clocked with three things at one time right now. My dad is about 55 years old. He's incredibly healthy. He's a baseball coach. He's, I mean, my mom makes goddamn flax ground 
I don't tell her I said goddamn GD flax ground homemade flour to make her own bread and stuff. The man eats healthy. He, he is healthy. Um, but he had not only the deep vein thrombosis, but they identified he has three clots. And they found out that he had had a stroke at some point in time. Uh, they don't know if it was last week, if it was even a few years ago. But his brain shown, showed signs of that because he had to go through an MRI and stuff. And I need to go in and get checked out. I, I'm still trying to sift through all the re results and stuff, too. And we're trying to not put too much pressure on my mom. You know, she's really plugged in and helping take care of him right now. But... Um, my family might have a genetic, I don't know the title of it, maybe you guys would know in there, but I, my family, we might have a genetic, uh, like, blood clotting and stroke condition. So I, I'm going to have to do a lot of kind of medical work, probably for myself uh, and for Sven here in the next couple of weeks or so on top of the insane schedule of, of everything. So I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm definitely 10 out of 10 stressed. I just want to be honest with you guys. I love this time here. I'm going to try to make as much time with you if, as I can here, but it's going to have to be sporadic, and it's already been pretty sporadic for a bit, so I just want to tell you how much I super appreciate the patience. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if my mom's in chat. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for tagging her every time. I, I can't imagine she is. Um, I don't know what it's called, you know, but uh, but and I didn't know if Dad was testing positive for it. Like, we're just... Mom is probably asleep right now. It's 9 or so, and they've been up early, but... Dad is home, and the nice thing is my mom was like, he felt like for the first time in like a week or so that he he had some hope and stuff again. So he was a little bit more active. His fever had been going down. The thing is what was really fucking his shit up was the fact that he had pneumonia on top of it. So he's had pneumonia unknowingly for a couple weeks. He thought it was influenza. He had had COVID previously, and it was just flaring up his lungs and shit. So... Um, uh, also, Jeff, I saw that you did that. It's really sweet. I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to, I always feel like a weird way of presenting this. Jeff, that is very kind. Um, I know there's a hype train. Like, I, I'm just trying to talk right now even, so I just don't want there to be any misinterpretation. I'm like, boo-hoo, guys. Oh, woo-woo. I'm, that's very sweet of you and stuff. You know, I, I'm just getting some info out. And then I'm, I'm telling you today, too, I got a lot of good work done. I feel really hopeful about not only the, the, the health stuff in the last couple of days and shit, but I didn't want to just be pivot 180 into like, <laughs> like tonight we're going to get goofy and I'm going to be giggling and yelling and stuff, too. But I haven't talked to you in like four days. It always takes me a little bit to recalibrate and shit. So uh, thank you, Jeff. I just didn't want there to be some big jarring, like, oh, way back into it. But I've got a lot on my mind. I just wanted to share it. That is very sweet of you, though. Thank you. I will, I will be sure to thank everybody that did that. Um, separately from that, I need to go in and I got to get myself checked out. I got to get Sven checked out. Also, fucking Sven, last night we're eating dinner. I cooked the hamburgers and mac and cheese and a Southwest salad for everybody. And Sven fucking chipped one of his teeth off. So we're trying to figure out how to go fix him up and stuff too it's just a lot of shit that the johnsons are having to do right now and a ton of it is medical frankly so we're figuring that out but but my dad's got deep vein thrombosis and pneumonia right now and separately he had had a, an alternate sinus infection on top of that so it has just been like fuck that noise but my mom's been with them the entire time my grandparents have been helping out a lot too Fortunately, and, and kind of why I'm back here today, too, is like, I feel a lot better, and we've gotten better news, and, you know, I got up and I got a lot of stuff done today, though, but it is just a weird day in Los Angeles. We've had flash flood warnings all day. It's, it's a day where it's like, beautiful sun, clouds roll in in 20 minutes, and now it's fucking pouring rain, flash flooding. My roof is still leaking, so I've been kind of tied to the home front, but Dave is out hanging out with some animator friends tonight. He will be back in later. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't seen you in four days. I'm just trying to catch up on everything. The game stuff is going incredibly well, though, and I'm, I wish... I can't wait to tell you mods about the opportunity here, too, because it seems like things are looking pretty good for the opportunity for me to helm a very fun creative project that I've been trying to do for a few years, so... Uh, that's what's up right now. Um, thank you. I've, I've noticed a lot of nice notes from people. I'm sorry that I kind of pull away when stuff gets like, <sighs> you know, but I've been trying to have to cook for a house full of people and stuff, have the cool shirts folks swing through. And I've been doing some socializing and stuff and, and getting some work done. So I don't know. I'll try to get a video out this week, but that's kind of had to take a little bit of a back burner. It's been kind of living hour to hour. Or so anyway, stuff is generally going okay amidst the chaos though. My mom has been really positive and communicative and frankly my family is not the best at going into uh 
the hospital and stuff and figuring it out. You know, like I just growing up, I think honestly, before I got to college, I, I believe I went into the hospital one time in my adult life. So now it's just it's everybody's having to go like full everything. You know, Sven needs to get his fucking tonsils removed. He just had his wisdom teeth taken out and now he's got to fix his fucking teeth and stuff. And anyway, it's it's just a lot of stuff going on right now. But that's just what's going on with me. I don't want to be Mr. Doom and Gloom, but Anyway, uh, that's where we're at today. I'm in a pretty good headspace this evening. Sorry, it might take me a little bit like usual. You know, I, I kind of come into the first hour is kind of like, uh, what's going on? Yeah, uh, this, yes, yes. But uh, I figured we'd do what we've been kind of doing already. Uh, I hope you don't mind, but I've, I've been enjoying playing all of these quick, fun, goofy itch experiences. It just feels like a really fun rinse, lather, repeat version of like finding little gems uh, in the rough. Uh, some of my favorite games that we played in the last couple weeks since we started doing this are Nightmare at the Krusty Krab. The Siren Head game was fucking excellent. No Players Online was super cool. We checked out a couple titles in the uh, PS1 demo disc, like the Haunted Demo Disc stuff. I don't remember if that was a puppet combo thing or or what it was, and uh, just other little goofy things. The Peter Griffin game. Oh, Lego Fallout was really fun, too. So, anyway, we're up to speed. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I see a bunch of subs and bits over here. I know we have a hype train going on, but I wanted to talk to you first, not coming to be like, great to see everybody, freaking whoop whoop. Uh, anyway, we got a break in the rain, so I don't think I have to go check, but if I do check, it's leaking, it's leaking right there. Right in the fucking corner, so I can't even put a little bin down, because it's literally dripping not down the wall, but within, like, half an inch of the wall, so I can't get a container there. I've just been rotating towels, but Yahoo lets it go. Are you guys ready to have a nice, chill night? I am very happy to see you. I hope you've been well. It's good to have you. All right, folks, we're getting into fuck all mode here. Espresso Rat with 100 biddies. I'm a roofer. I'm on the way. There you go. Oh. Rat's up there right now. That's fine. Stop. Please take off the boots. It's loud. Thank you. Espresso rats on my roof right now. I didn't know that was... How'd you find me more than anything? Uh... <laughs> anyway, good to see you. Thanks, Espresso Rat. That's very sweet of you. Um, also, we almost got level five. Thank you. Uh, I wouldn't even pay attention to that, but that is very sweet, and I'm not going to miss a damn person right here. Let's go through it. Captain Murph, how are you? Gus, your Red Dead VODs help me get through the holidays away from family. I am currently on my first time playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. That's fucking exciting, dude. Uh, and I'm already looking forward to watching your adventure once I finish. Dude, Captain Murph, let us know how you're going through it and which factions you align with and what stuff you do. That's exciting. Uh, thank you very much for coming through. It was so fun to have you on those Red Dead VODs. Uh, appreciate the Prime sub, too. Also, really, seriously, Jeff Hutch, can we do a repurposed Taco Bell cup that I poured equal parts Gatorade, sugar-free G2, and also Kavita Tart Cherry Kombucha into? That's a mouthful. Cheers, Jeff Hutch. The tight fiber is very fucking sweet, bro. You're always super positive in chat. Here, Jeff, you can have a little bit. Jeff only, you can have a little bit of a sip. Thank you. I don't know how many times I'm going to do that. <laughs> fucking fake sip one. Uh, I brought you flowers. That's what. Uh, guys, I brought you flowers to say thank you for being patient this weekend during the time off. But thanks, Jeff. Big dubs on that one. Really appreciate that. Uh. Good to see you as well. Also, Barack Obama official has just followed, guys. Great news. Can you... Th this is hilarious, too, because the State of the Union address is literally occurring this minute. Like, it's probably maybe done at this point. I think it was, like, six that it started PST. Uh, but the State of the Union is over there. I just imagine Obama's at home and being like, hmm, I can watch my former VP or... Hmm, I'm going to follow Gus Johnson on Twitch. That's good. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. Big comms on that one, dude. Um, also, thank you again, Jeff, and thank you, Beardy Ginger, for 19 months. Appreciate that, Beardy Ginger. Um, big hearts on the way on that one. Thank you. And Hot Milk, thanks for 18 months, a year and a half already. Time flies. 15-month streak since three months. And my debit card expired, so I had a weird gap in a streak. But what is a guy to do? That's what we say several times over here. Hope you're well, uh, Gus. Thanks, Hot Milk. Always good to see you, dude. Also, speaking of dude, Dude Miller, two years, second cheers of the day. Kavita Kombucha, baby. Ooh, now that's really going to help populate my healthy gut bacteria in a positive way. <coughs> Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate that, dude, Miller. Also, we got Thomas with no H out here. 21 months. We got some big streakers over here, and it ain't even the Super Bowl. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you, Zealoth. 
as well for 15 months. Zealoth, you ain't a zealot, you're a zealoth. It's a little softer on the eyes. Catbird on a stick, by the way, 23 months. Date night, dude? That's true. I hope you brought a dish to pass. This restaurant does not serve food. It only serves wine and tap water, non-sparkle. Thank you very much, Catbird on a stick. Also, who just did that down here? Why did I get a text message? My friend Brittany invited me to her birthday party. Thanks, Brittany. Not now. <laughs> Don't show her that clip. Also, thank you, 68K Mac Man, for 18 months. Do you eat your egg salad on bread, on crackers, or with a spoon? If you're option three, let's keep an eye on you. Crackers seem fine, but I'm a bread boy all the way. I don't often opt in for egg salad, but I'm getting used to it as I'm getting older. Maybe I'll get into Werther's Originals and Crosswords soon. Who knows? Thanks, 68K Mac Man. Jeff Hutch is not only hitting the tight fiver, but 30 month personal sub and dude. I got two cups. I'm dual wielding. Cheers. Speaking of the dual wielding two cups, by the way, I had uh, I was hanging out at a friend's house a couple weeks ago. It was a bunch of LA people, and <laughs> I should probably preface this of like I'm obviously goofing, and I don't start fucking around in the chat and being weird and stuff. But it was hilarious to witness secondhand. One of the friends, uh, she says, "I'm so." <laughs> how did she say it? It was super funny how she mentioned it. Um, Okay, Matt texts me too. One sec. She goes, so I have all the time when I'm working at my desk, she goes, I have three or four drinks at my desk at one time, you know, because I'm bisexual. And like multiple people also went like, yes, dude, I'm bisexual too. That's why I, I drink multiple drinks all the time. And I was like, I don't feel like I should say anything because I'm not like bothered. It's not a problem, but I didn't. I didn't see the correlation between that. I was like, I, I'm pretty open-minded and I'm not, I don't think I'm like, I think I'm just, I think I'm heterosexual, but I also have several drinks, but I just didn't think that was the one-to-one. -one. And it was just so funny to see an entire group of people just go, yep, yep. As we all know, those bisexuals, they do be drinking multiple beverages at one time. And it was just, it was one of those universal entire room things. Just go, uh-huh, yeah, as we all know. And I was just like, do we all know that? I didn't. <laughs> I was like, what, what? Anyway, I thought it was funny. But I was just like, it was such a universal, like, uh-huh, and like, oh, I mean, yeah, I'll give the yeah. But I was, uh, anyway, it was funny. And now I've passed it along to you. So you have the information, okay? Let's all drink our multiple drinks tonight. Everyone's welcome. It's just the sort of thing that works in the one direction, but not the other. ADHD people also have multiple drinkies. That's the thing for me. I was, I was like, I haven't gotten a completed formal diagnosis. I've had it be professionally indicated that I'm pretty severe ADHD, but sometimes you don't even see on my desk here. There's the times where I have like sparkling bubbly water and tap water on ice and a beer and a coffee and Gatorade and stuff like I just like having my little concoctions at the desk uh, I only have two things right here right now though so we're, we're going well also by the way just want to catch up the very first sub of the day was Pringles the can that's a nine monther right there baby thank you very much Foozle 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 says Pringles thanks for supporting me for so damn long also by the way we got Captain Murph dude and thank you for that. And Steph Tepper for 25 months. Hey, Steph. Hope you've been well. Thanks for 25 months. That's a Christmas number, dude. ZX says, same place, Gus. It's hard as shit to get a DX uh, yeah, diagnosis as an adult. Oops, caps. This is true. This is true. Also, okay, Brady, hello. Good to see you, Brady. Thank you for the biddies, dude. Hope you've been having a nice week. And Mr. Poor Boy, hope you're having a chill week too, dude. 25 months. It was nine years ago this year that I first subbed to your YouTube channel. Thanks for the years of laughs, guy. Much love to your fam. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Can you believe that? Almost nine years? Christ alive. It's good to have you. Thanks for being along for the ride. Ups and downs and all arounds. I'm glad you're here, Mr. Poor Boy. Private Dingle says, only wine and tap water? Really spendy place you brought us. Hey, we, they've got Shasta, too. It's not on tap, but you they'll run down to the store and get you a can from the Kroger. You know how it is. Uh, Gus dreams are more important than the State of the Union. This is true. These are actual facts. Um, tea smoothie water. I carry them all day and it sucks. Is this a thing? Ooh, tea smoothie water. 
interesting. Well, are, are you saying mixed together or all separately? Because that also that that probably sounds good. Those would fit together. I'm a single drink Stanley over here. Says Pleasance. How proud of uh, your bro is the new? Oh yes, in the new Joel Haver flick. D did you watch that rat? Thank you. Yes, I should have. Dude, it's not too late. I gotta plug it on my Instagram. But I've just been. I haven't posted fucking anything on my Instagram in a while. Um. Yeah, Sven is one of the stars of the new Joel Haver film with, like, Blake Rozier and Caroline Cummings and Churdley's. And, uh, I mean, Mitzi's in it, Matt's in it, Nick's in it. Like, all our buddies are in it. Yeah, you should totally go check it out. Um, it's Joel Haver's latest video. You should, it's a movie, it's 90 minutes, it's fun, and it's honestly really fucking funny, too. Love Joel, awesome to hear, absolutely. We went to, uh, to Churdley's house, and we had a big movie premiere for it and everyone showed up and there were cookies and it was fun and it's a good movie and I'm really proud of my brother I think he did a very good job in it I think his acting is improving every time he gets into a bigger project a large tea says Haley a large bottle of smoothie a large water bottle yeah that's a good comp you gotta have all those big irons on your hip dude every bev Renama how are you doing good to see you down there dog I gotta swap out my little emotes I got you guys flower here you can have this one this is a breathtaking blue flower for your garden Thanks, Renama. Appreciate 22 months. Um, what do you say we start looking on itch and hanging out and stuff? Okay, this is the first fucking half hour I told you about. Is I'm starting to feel a little more like on stream, present, stepping away and shit. Good to see ya. Uh, I'm gonna go pee out my dumb little balls, and I also will probably wash my hands, and then we're gonna play itch.io. I see Mozzarella's in chat. Well, howdy, partner. How are we doing tonight? We're doing better. I just gave the brief State of the Union. I know Biden was doing it. Now this Guidance gonna do it. Everything's okay. Long, stressful week. Dad's doing a bit better. Two scary days. Big business meetings this week for new non-video game related series. And also video game stuff because my buddy Dave is in town. But that fucker's out of the house. I'm going to play a little point and click games over here on itch.io. Let me pee out my balls. I hope you've been well, Moz. Boink. Moz got another round of rejections from Google today. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to call Google right now. I'm gonna call Google right now, Moz. Susan? God damn it, she's not picking up, bro. Son of a bitch. I'll, you know what, we'll give her time. She'll check the machine, I'll be right back. Alrighty, gamers, time to cook. Ooh, time to cook. You know, Mozzarella, I figure I'd give him one more call, but I'm not going to call Google directly. I'm going to probably have to elevate this one, okay? Let me see. Hi, this is 911 Emergency. How can I help you today? Hi, this is Twitch.tv slash Gus Johnson. I'm just wondering if my friend Mozzarella could please get rehired at Google, please. Okay, well, this sounds oh like a situation where we need to transfer you to the kids' police station. Kids' police? Hold on for no, just no, a no, no, I want to talk to an adult, please. Mm. I don't want to talk to kids' police. Hello, ma'am. Hey. This is the kids' police. 
police station. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I nine one one's got the shit. I don't know what's going on with them. Um. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Why do we keep getting fucking transferred to kids police station? Why do they even have that department? Okay, can we just defund that, at least that portion first, dude? Because it's just I don't want kids running the police station. They're between the ages of three and eight. They should not be handling firearms or local judicial issues. We'll call them back later. <laughs> Sorry, I tried fucking calling the real guy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hey, Anna, what up, dude? Good to see you, bro. I think kids should vote. Go home. <laughs> hey, Anna, I hope you're doing well. Don't worry, we have not done any uh, more events at our place yet, but I'll let you know next time we do it. I hope you've had a nice week uh, so far. Why isn't Biden covering this? Oh, yo, by the way, I saw some great news. ZX, Gus, I'm reposting, but it is hilarious you're doing this date bit because I was honestly going to say I got good news to share on Monday. Uh, but Thursday's cool, too. Anyway, I had a second date with someone, and it went really good. Damn, dude. Already, the fact that you got a second date lined up is a good uh, baller move. That's excellent. Give us more updates if you want. That's fun as hell. Congratulations. I hope that keeps going well. What a committed bit for a misreading of my message. I it fucked up halfway through, Tim. I read your follow-up after. I was like, oh, it's for Tim. Ah, shit. But I'm already calling the children's police department. Son of a gun. Eh, what's it got to do? Guess I found another Siren Head game that looks good. I posted in the Discord again with open or along with open house. Maybe we'll get to that one today. I want to do all sorts of stuff. Thanks for taking the time to do that, Nick. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, let's play. Oh, good. I was only here to make sure nothing was happening when I'm not there. Yeah, you bet, dog. Consider this your local security camera, Anna. Good comms. What have you been playing on stream lately, huh? Also, I could probably just search open house. Is this its own? Oh, this one. Folks were saying that this is a really good one. Is this a horror game, specifically? Hey, Gus, would you say something that will spark a parasocial relationship between you and my grandmother? I'll let's just call her Ethel for the time being. Hey, Ethel, you really are part of the greatest generation, okay? And now you're part of the greatest Twitch stream. What do you say you and I baby boom on out of here and go go 52 skidoo on down to some poodle skirt milkshakes? Got the sock hop. I don't know what old ladies talk about. Do you want to go knit at the local Baptist basement? I don't know what... I'm not good with older women... How's about you and I get a value bag of Werther's Originals and put them in a glass dish and not swap it out for eight years till someone finally eats one and breaks a fucking crown off? Ah, damn, I can't do it. You're going to have to tell her to get something else. Uh, Anna's been playing a little DKC2, Donkey Kong Country 2, figured it out. A little Pikmin 4, sequels only, I guess, for Anna. A little Stories Untold. Oh, Tim's going to go, See? Because Tim's been telling me to play Stories Untold, too. We're going to play more fuck around stuff today, but I'm definitely going to do that at some point. Werther's Originals are so good, I will not stand for the slander, Gus. No, we are a Cream Savers family, and I will not argue any further. Um, that's 1950s. Yeah, don't forget to hit Route 66. Fichy, I should have listened to you from the start, dude. Uh, also, what are we doing? Open house? Is this is this the game? It looks like it's a horror game. Did you just say fuck is a Cream Saver? Cream Saver is like a Werther's original. Just, I'm not even gonna do it. Look at this. Cream Saver candy. Did you, you guys know what I'm talking about? These fucking Cream Savers? I had these growing up. There's a lady that was the uh, secretary at my elementary school named Sherry. And you always wanted to go give a note to Sherry because Sherry had a big old thing of Cream Savers on her desk and she'd give you one of them. You guys have this? No idea? They're good. Dumbass likes them. I had the strawberry ones. Not a fan. Oh my god, you bastards. Oh, sorry, I was actually recalled the children's police department. <laughs> they were pretty good, though, too. They were not bad. I just opened Instagram to put a little thing of like, oh, we're doing late night horror games or whatever. I saw Bam Margera Torres MCL. That's no good. Guys, get in the group picture quick. I gotta take a nice photo of all of us. Give me that cream, Sherry. See, this is why you're not asked to go run errands at the elementary school office, Anna. Can't be talking like that. Sherry's a nice lady. Guys, get in the photo. Fishy saying cheese. Uh, 
I will say late night finding the best. I guess they're not going to be only horror stuff, though, too. Games on itch.io. Nice. And then I will put twitch.tv slash Gus Johnson. And then we will get to it. We're going to start with this open house. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, Nick, I hear good things about this one. I think we were going to check this one out last time, but we did not get around to it. As usual, I am kind of a wiener in, when it comes to horror game stuff. So I've told Sven, don't fucking come in here at all. I'm not going to talk to you. All right, here we go. I guess this is an in-browser game, too. So, as usual, I need your help. I honestly, unironically love playing through these and, like, ranking them. So, so far, the highest ranking one is Nightmares at the Krusty Krab as a 9-4, I think. And we also had the Princesses in Another Castle was a pretty good one, too. I think that was about a 9. Don't remember the other ones that were, like, big bangers, too, but... Poor Sven, indeed. All right, here we go. Made with Unity... Ah, eh, fuck it. I'm downloading it. I was going to do it in browser, but I was like, ah, it's just easier. It's just easier. Let me hit the download super quick. All right, we already got it. Unpacking. Bro, look at this assessment examination one. What the fuck is that, dude? Corrupted Ocelot. See, Ocelot. You could be a brand ambassador for it, dude. Uh, Corrupted Ocelot, 100 Bitties. Cream Savers are bomb. Thank you, dude. And I appreciate the bits. Cream Savers are bomb. That's it. You get to go run notes for Sherry all day. Also, DC Four Eyes. Thanks for the 23 months. Almost two years old. Thanks for the great content, Gus, man. Good to see you, DC. Thank you, dude. Hell yeah. Almost two years old. All right. It's time to open Open House. I'm going to close this one out. Screen resolution. Can I make it 1080? Yep. Quick turn the volume down ASAP. Oh. Large belch, bigger heart. Okay, here we go. So this is supposed to... Oh! I'm gonna need to move my camera around a little bit here. I cannot be blocking crucial game elements. Oh, fuck. Where's the best place to put this damn thing? Let's put old Gussy boy up here, eh? Okay, we'll do this one for this. A nine for the SpongeBob game is what? What the fuck are you talking about, Anna? Did you see the game that we were playing? Nightmare at the Krusty Krab? You boot it up, dog. It's free to get. Don't even. You. I'm not talking about Mr. or SpongeBob Meth Head or whatever. I was talking about Nightmare at the Krusty Krab. That was an actual good one. Also, DC Four Eyes, I appreciate you as well. Thank you, dude. Yeah, brother, I'm a lurker fiend. Hell yeah, dude. That was a fucking good one. I had a gameplay loop, six endings. Good music, funny stuff, good visuals, satisfying gameplay. Low bar, but it was excellent. I really like that one. Lisa, how are you? Hey, Gus. Hey, Lisa. Happy 23 months, Lisa. Hope you are doing well. Happy Thursday. Okay, time to play a real estate game, Lisa. Property of North Tree Real Estate, not for distribution. Hello there. My name is Agent Name, and I'm one of your local North Tree Real Estate agents for the client neighborhood area. Nice to meet you. Click. <laughs> I really hope this is the game developer. Thank you for being a part of our alpha testing program. We're excited about our partnership with Optics Dynamics Labs to help bring you the latest in cutting-edge real estate technology through nano drones, photo photogrammetry, and industry-leading machine learning. What, what does all that mean? Well, client name, I'm glad you asked. For the first time ever, we've made the home buying process more convenient by bringing the full open house experience to the comforts of your personal digital devices. It's home buying revolutionized for the 21st century. Click. Through a combination of camera dr I love this guy. <laughs> Through a combination of camera drones and thousands of still images, we can now scan and recreate a fully explorable three-dimensional snapshot of any home. For a seller, that means no more dealing with the inconvenience of multiple showings. For a buyer, you can now browse our entire portfolio while sitting on your couch. <laughs> oh, dude, double thumb. Let mm. <laughs> We're excited to show you a perfect home in your client neighborhood area. It's a fresh listing from one of our newer developments. But before we can get into all that fun stuff, I'll need to go over some basics of how this all works. 
Don't worry, it won't take long, I promise. This indicates what room you're currently in. Moving your cursor around the screen will reveal different icons. Okay. Good. Now I think we're ready to get started. I highly suggest that you wear headphones to get the full virtual open house experience. Please keep all hands and feet inside the ride at all times and remember to have fun. And do let us know if there's anything we can do to improve your experience because here at North Tree Real Estate, you, client name, are our highest priority. Not bad. Fibby40, thanks for 100 bits, dude. I hope you're doing well as well. I'm about to sell some houses. This is like uh, Hugh Honey and Vic Vinegar mode. That's a Sonny reference. Fucking Zillow the game, dude. <laughs> well, let's see how good Zillow.gov is over here. Let's boot it up. Loading scan of one, five, six. Okay, we're in. Nice. Oh, I can click. Oh. Now, this is a really interesting way to present this. Whoa. Let's go upstairs. Okay, this is really interesting way to present this. Damn, bro. Damn, 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 bro. Let's go check out the shitter. Nothing over here. No, oh, oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, just, that's okay. That's just the door. Can anybody tell me this song? My mom plays this song on the piano all the time. Oh, there's a shovel in the backyard. There's the garage. This is a really fucking excellent way to present a game, by the way. Here we are in the dining... Is that guy? The fuck? Okay, interesting. The young bong, what up, dude? Gus, would you ask Sven if he were uh, would hold hands with me while going down the Ferris wheel water slide in the Wisconsin Dells? Sven? Oh, he's not here right now. He's shooting a, a, a thing at the Insano house right now. I'll hold hands with you, but once we get to the bottom, we gotta let go of hands because the lifeguards are gonna get mad at us because we're not supposed to do that, frankly. Thank you for the prime sub, though. <laughs> I'll be sure to pass that along. Appreciate you, young bun. Okay, it's 8.05, dude, and I ain't talking the bit. Oh. I did not know this info was down here. Detail. D <laughs> dude, bro, still here. This cozy living room receives tons of natural light during the day. And the days, bro. Overview. Ooh, 23 hundo. That's not bad. I dig it, I dig it. Thanks, Vibby. Okay. Can I get out of the door? It does not look as though I am able to do that. Well, this is obviously a fucking horror game, so... I'm just waiting for some shit to hit, brother. Oh, whoa, there's some stuff. The fuck is this noise? The fuck? Also, I gotta, I gotta move my ass down over here again. Because it tells you the item name up there, I, I guess. <laughs> Air. Dude, don't love that. Detail. A massive walk-in closet and exquisite bathroom make this 500 square foot master bedroom your sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Thank you, guy. Light the candle? Nope. What else we got up in here? Let's go check out the shitter. Ooh la la. Marble counters and tiling add a sense of luxury that helps you to unwind and relax after a long day. My god, dude. Here we go. Okay, nothing in the shitter. Still marble counters. I dig it. Hold on, I'm gonna read this one quietly super quick while you guys look at the master bedroom.
I'm glad you said that. Matt Wolf, I hope you're doing as well as you can be right now. Yeah, I, I've had similar talks like that with my family members. That could be a really cathartic experience. I'm very glad that you're here. That is sweet. It's kind of a bittersweet thing, right? You know, but it's what a human experience. I'm glad that you're able to have that opportunity with your dad. Um, I hope that your entire family is doing well, and I'm sure that your dad appreciated that as much as you did, too. So I'm so glad that you said that. I'm, I'm very glad that you're here, and I hope you have a good rest of your week, too. Uh, yeah, thanks for saying that. It feels weird, like, smiling at that, but, like, hearing about good, positive memories and stuff with family members like that is such a good thing, dude. So I'm very glad you said that. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you could have that experience with your dad, too. Uh, oh, my God. Espresso Rat, bro. Thank you. Dude, Espresso Rat just subbed up Metwolf. That is very sweet of you, Espresso Rat. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, now you're subbed and you're dubbed because we're about to win this uh, housegame.gov. Thank you very much, uh, Espresso Rat and Matt Wolf. Also, hello, Clown Baby. How are you doing, dude? I'm just exploring a house. I'm a prospective buyer. The second floor bedroom is perfect for a smaller child or home office for when you really need to get work done. Okay. Oh. Don't look at it. But I'm looking right at it, dude. The horse eggs did not hatch yet. I'm glad you asked. No, my mom freaking probably is not even goddamn incub GD incubating them. Don't tell her I said that. So I'm expecting those horses. This batch is going to be fully dead. So I would not hold out hope for those horses. Sorry my mom keeps freaking crap up like that. But seriously, I'm doing the best I can. You understand, of course. Now let's get to some channel point wasting, dude. All day. All day. All right, I'm in Bonjo's room over here, dude. Drop detuning. Not sure why he did that. Okay. This is this is a dumb kid's room. This end hall bedroom. What? There's too many fucking bedrooms in this house. This house sucks. Where's the PlayStation? Hi, Hannah. Get my ass downstairs, dude. That's enough of this bullshit. Turn around. Go down. Oh, the door's open. Did I do that? Get out. There's a guest bathroom down the hall. Okay. I already went in there. I gotta go check out the TV room. Wait, I feel like I checked this shit out. Oh. Hey, do one of you fuckers come in here while I'm doing a house tour? How come this shit's knocked over? I gotta go into the garage, dude. Hello? It's kind of creepy that it locks you into those camera movements, too. Fun fact, horse eggs are impervious to apple hucking, which is good because the good old Johnson boys love a hucking apples at their kids. This is true. Tarkoji speaks the truth. I can't deny it, bro. The two-car garage has plenty of room for storage or could be converted into that perfect personal space you've always wanted. Uh. Thank you, man. This house does actually look pretty nice. Hannah, I've got probably one more Red Dead stream left based on what people are saying, but I'm in the epilogue. I think that's most of the rooms. What am I missing? Oh, I think they wanted me to check out this bathroom again, but I already found some blood in the sink, dude. Oh, there's a laundry room upstairs. Okay, I got to go check that out. Thank you, Alex Watkins. I'm very glad you're here today, dude. Where the fuck? Oh, this has got to be the laundry room. Oh, hey. That obviously sucks, and let's all be honest about that. Here I am. A second floor laundry room means no more heavy hauling loads of clothes up and down the stairs. Talk about a real time saver. <laughs> a lot of vagina trees. Cool. Love to see that. Okay. That's... Well, we've been in here. We're looking around. We're being ourselves. Wait, there's blood on the saw in the garage? What the... How the fuck did I miss that? Somebody's been sitting in this beanbag, by the way. Nobody look at the vagina trees. I don't trust them. It makes me feel very vulnerable. <laughs> Time to go down. I'm talking about the stairs. Not, we're not on the vagina. Okay. Come on. 
Let's go forward. All right, I'm going back to the garage, dude. I did I fucking miss something from the garage? I had to have. Something tells me this is just going to be one big, fat, stupid, bullshit jump scare. Who else is anticipating that? Oh, what up, fucker? Go ahead and slide that off the ears. I suggest you do the same. Don't- What?! What did it say? Don't look at it? I hate how silent this got. Fuck that shit, bro! <laughs> ah! Ah! No, no, no! Don't look at it! Fuck you! I can't turn away! I'm hitting the left! I'm not- I'm not trying to talk to you! Shut up! Shut up! Ah! Fuck you! I can't run! Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> ah! You bitch. The current scan has encountered a memory error. Recombined data from an earlier restore point. God, fuck you. Actual fuck you situation. Why is this scary? I, Dr. Jones is not going to know what to do on this one, dude. He's a responsible home buyer. He's not confrontational. All right, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's, uh, guys, okay, that's fine. Svenny's calling me. Hold on, my fucking brother's calling me. One second. Hey, what's up? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry to step away. Did I fucking miss something? What? What happened? Did I miss something? I'm not making an offer, Anna. You fucking live here, bro. I'm not coming over. Sven called me. I didn't miss anything? Okay, good. Oh, bastards. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Don't look at it. Uh, why is it so slow? This obviously sucks ass. Mmm, fuck that noise. Okay. Well, fuck this no- Ah, you fucker! I kn that's a fucking guy I saw in the kitchen! I'm not looking at it. I can't go the other way. I can only go towards him. Fuck you. No, fuck this shit. Oh my god damn. There's no options. I don't enjoy this particular. No! No! Stop. No, you fuck. God damn it. Debug mode? What? I'm using fucking arrow keys? Who does this? Please rescan second floor. God, you son of a bitch. Can I jump? Alright, don't look at it. Oh, you son of a fucker. 
Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. Hold on, hold on. I gotta go to the second floor. Why'd I go into the darkest room in the tallest tower, Rapunzel? Hold on. Hold on. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. We won't be discussing this further, clearly, as a family. Okay. Can't tilt the camera up, either. Interesting movement mechanics. I can only use the arrow keys. Ah, you sucker. Well, awesome. That's... Can I get in here? Nope. Okay. Yep, no. Scratch on the wall. Fuck this dumb sh... <laughs> Scan complete! Okay. Back at it again with the right <laughs> scan. Yep. Okay. Scan complete. Yep. That's good. That looks fun. Yep. Okay. Yep. No, that's... It's inside. I know, dumbass. Open the door. Get on the floor. Hello? Everybody walk the dinosaur. Take these shells, says Fibby. Thank you. Oh, I probably, it's probably the bathroom. Okay. Scan complete. Yep. 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 Okay. All right. I'm out. Fuck this, dude. We got to do another funny game after this. Saving and compiling. What is the error, bro? Back your shit up. Inconsistent scan dimensions. I don't want to set the world on fire. Welcome home. That's not enjoyable particularly. Okay, just hit me with the jump scare, you bastard. And let's get on to some dumb fart game. Just do it. Just do it. Just have it. I want to play Peter Pan versus Peter Griffin or some dumb shit. Don't look at it. Oh, that's just a Radiohead cover. That's fine. Mountain the album's on the wall. Okay. That's fine. I'm already over that. So, Hundo P, dude. Hundo P. System unassigned reference. Oh, man. Now I'm just playing. Dude, this is the free version of PT. I guess PT was also free, but you can't get it now. Hondo P here too. All right. No, that's sick. That's definitely I'm big on that. What? Can I turn around? Do they want me to? Yeah, that's just shit turn into the back room. <gasps> oh, you fucker. I don't even like that guy. Oh, fine. Ah, I'm taking him out! I hated it! What? Oh, son of a bitch. Why do you only want to set the world on fire? System spawn it character. That's the worst ever I've seen, frankly. Okay. Yep. Hello? SpongeBob? Yeah, I think we also. T Don't you jump scare me, Ocelot, bro. <laughs> you fucking bastard, dude. No. Thanks for the dollar, but die in hell, please. Um, Your Honor, thank you, Lord. All right. <laughs> ah! That's God. I actually fucking hate these games. That was mixed so spooky. Element missing. What the fuck is this, bro? 
We got Ryan's house reviews over here. Okay. What the fuck? Press tab to change cameras? What the hell is this? God damn. Oh, Young Bug. No way, Young Bug. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Tight Fiverr, bro. Thanks, Young Bug. There's no way I'm making this out alive, Young Bug. Young Bug, if I die, you can have Sven. He, honestly, he's fine. Uh. He's okay. Just feed him a lot of protein. He lifts, okay? There's a fuck. What? What happened? What'd I do? Undefined? What the fuck happened? Definitely don't love it. No! Ah! If you make your game with escape as a quit game, gape as a quit game, that is bad game design. If you make your game and escape equals quit game, escape equals quit game, then that is bad game design. If you make your game where escape is the quit game, escape is the quit game, then that is bad game design. If you make your game. <laughs> That's just enough into the game where I was like, now nah, I don't need to see the rest of the game. You know what I mean? Fuck. Also, but I couldn't do anything, though, to be fair. I was not able to do anything. So. Fuck. I guess we have to judge that game off of its merit from what we saw, dude. If you make your game and escape is the quit game, that is a shit game. Good, I didn't fix your game. Yeah, I'm gonna YouTube the rest, frankly. That's a good idea, Anna. You're hired. Dimitri, what's up, dude? Is this Five Nights at Freddy's? No, it's Five Nights at Zillow. We determined. Hey, guys, Gus Johnson, YouTube. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god. Continent imposter? No way, dude. Do you mean it? Thank you, Continent Imposter, for the very nice Prime sub, my dude. That is very nice of you, dude. Um, also, by the way, can we get another fucking uh, cheers for Young Bung with the tight fiver, bro? Young Bung, let's go, baby. Cheers. Now, that is a tasty meat of ball, Young Bung. Thank you, dude. All right, we're going to look at the ending on YouTube. <laughs> and then we're going to play a different game because we're so close. We're so close. Also, I am Compy with the first time sub. Dude, two first time subs in a row. Thanks, Compy. Appreciate you doing that. And thank you, Continent Imposter. That is very nice of you, dog. I have to pee. Don't yell at me. I'm just working here, okay? I'll literally be gone for 49 seconds and then we're going to watch the end of this game. And then we're going to play a new game. It's going to be fun, okay? One sec.
I took off my suit jacket and I'm done fucking around. Excuse me. Okay, what am I doing? Open. House. Horror. Game. Walk. Gameplay. This is the weeniest way to do this. Okay, we made it this far. That part sucked. I'm turning off the soft jazz. So then that dumb shit happened. And then we went through this whole Brainiac stage. And then we got to the penis brain room. And then that's about where I hit quit. You know, I thought this was just going to be like a... Oh, I didn't know there was a guy fucking narrating it. That's it. This became a little more involved in that. And, uh, Thanks, manly badass hero. Let's see the ending. This is me watching someone else's walkthrough at the end, bro. Are you going to play a difficult game about climbing? Oh, fuck. Oh. Make an offer. Oh, I didn't know that shit was happening. I guess I'm going to have to, Dimitri. I think we just offered my soul. That... Oh, I was literally like a second away from the end. Mm, that was a good stock hold. Okay. So and that's that says, it for the... Okay. I could not have been closer, bro. <laughs> I was like literally a click away from winning. You know, upon reflection, I don't think that was an accurate depiction of the home buying experience. Yeah, honestly, I think that's a good assessment of the situation, frankly. Uh, thank you for the input. <laughs> Okay, guys, we got to rate that one. That's the first one of the day. I would say unique control scheme, fun presentation, actually kind of freaky. I would give that, especially from an itch.io perspective, I think that I would give that an 8.5. I would give it an 8.5. Sevens, I'm seeing some sevens. I think 8.5 is fair. Toy Lord, what's up, dude? Hey, Gub, this game is too scary. Whenever you want to play Stardew Valley, we are here for it. Poop butt, poo butt balls. In that order. Just want to reread that. Poop, butt, poop, butt, balls. Gotcha. P, B, P, B, B. Okay. Good to know. Thank you very much, Tory Lord. Thanks for the buck, brother. All right. A difficult game about climbing. Is that... Is that supposed to be a good one? What? I don't see it. What the crap? I found a really funny one called Bad Ben. Okay. I got to check it out. I gotta do a little uh, looking around here too. What? Run movie? Now some of these look really interesting. So I'm seeing a general score from you guys. I'm actually kind of surprised. People are, I would say the aggregate score from you is about a six. Five, five to a six. Interesting. I th I thought it was not bad for some of these previous ones that we played. Let's go fun games. Let's see. Let's do a fun game next. Eggnog. What's a good topic to search too over here? That's a good way to do it, because the search function is a little better. Whoa. Sacramento. Interesting. That looks fun. Hey, Gus, I got to run. Are we still on for some bocce and hard sunny D's on Sunday morning down by the old elementary school building? Brother, you know it, dude. Also, it's a bra bring your own hard. So you just bring regular sunny D and then I'll bring the Everclear. Okay, that's fair. Mario, since this weekend is Mario Day. That's right. Let's look for some more Mario games. We did the princesses in another ca Okay. <laughs> princesses in another castle. That was a pretty good one. You should search Taco Bell. Oh, all right. Taco Bell. Taco and Bell. This is in, like, check. I can't read that. Taco Bell Toilet Simulator. <laughs> oh, guys, great news, by the way. Uh, Windows version is finished. The Mac version's on the way, it says. That's pretty good. Taco Bell V2. Here's another version of Taco Bell for generating income. That, yeah, no, this looks good. That's that's a Taco Bell. Taco Bell run at 2.30 a.m. Manfred goes to Taco Bell demo. And the description for Manfred goes to Taco Bell demo is M. And then the, the 
flavor text is, I'm not doing the whole thing. Holy fuck no. There's an unstable portal in the Taco Bell. Noise goes to Taco Bell but ends up in a taco dimension. Download the funny. Also, you need this. Okay. There's a lot of good content over here, clearly. The Tronables Bonable Tronicles of Taco Bell. Th that was a good topic to search for. Okay, let's see what other Mario ones we got. Super Mario Run. We have Mario and Mario and Mario. And then, of course, Mario right here. And then, of course, there's Mario. Subsequently, we have Mario. Mario, Mario, Marlo. Mario. Mario. Mario and Mario, of course. And then if we want to later, we can come back to Mario, 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 Mario. Mario. What? Mario's too much of the stuff. No love, Luigi? I guess not. <laughs> yeah, wait, are they Taco John's games? <laughs> wait. John? John? Jo uh, guys, I don't even want to fucking hear you talk about this. Okay, B. You're just cheesing me up so you get a bank loan. Hope you had a nice day. Good to see ya. Fucking John Pork, dude. <laughs> All right, we gotta play. We gotta play John Pork. <laughs> Seven endings, dude. All right, I'm playing John Pork. i I didn't think that the John Pork meme would come full circle, but here we are. Rest in peace, a real one, dude. Sucks that John Pork fucking died, dude. Honest to God, though. Extract all. Extract. That one's for John Pork, brother. It smells like John Pork in here. It better, dude. If SpongeBob had six endings, this one must be a 10 out of 10. That's true, because it's got the additional seventh ending. Dutch, to Dutch Toker is streaking tonight. Good to see you, Dutch. If you're not aware, we had a big, dumb John Pork meme going on like six months ago, and it was dumb, and I honestly have not seen him since then. So here we are. All right, well... This is already as fuck, dude. Wait till you see this, bro. So here's what we're dealing with. Susan, can we get the game capture here, please? Shockingly, can you hear this, by the way? This is horrible. Uh, why can't you see this? All right, let's do, uh, damn, why doesn't the window capture work here? This is hilarious. Uh, John Pork Story Mode. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's put that right there. Let's, uh... All right. Time to play John Pork Story Mode. Start. What is your name? Gus. Toy Lord, thank you for subbing up Fibby40, by the way. Very baller of you, Toy Lord. Thank you very much, dude. It's 3 a.m. and you hear your phone ring. Okay. Who the fuck calls me at this hour? Oh. <laughs> I fucking hate this meme, dude. Hey, what up, dude? Should we, guys, should we accept or decline? I'm gonna accept. John Pork says, I'm stroking my shit right now, dog. Gus says, who the fuck is you? Comma after fuck, surprisingly. John Pork says John Pork. <laughs> but I, I had him in my caller ID. How am I surprised, dude? It's John Pork. Well, why'd you call me at this fucking hour? I need some friends. Could you be my friend? Do you want to be friends with John Pork? Oh, guys, what would you choose? <laughs> Yes or fuck no? Yes or fuck no? I like that both of them have periods. Absolutely not? Alright, let's hit fuck no, dude. No, fuck off! Phone call it! <laughs> what the 
the fuck now? Ah! <laughs> How the fuck did you get into my house? But should have said yes. I mean, hooray! <laughs> That's the no friend ending. All right, we gotta do it. Wait, there's the ability to load your game, bro. What is your name, Gus? Okay, who the fuck calls me? It's John Pork. New prediction: What will Gus rank this game? Yeah, get your get your bets in. Um, hey, John Pork, I'm struggling my shit right now, dog. Who the fuck is you? I'm John Pork. Why'd you call me at this fucking hour? I need some friends. Could you be my friend? All right, I'll be friends with John Pork. Sure. Wowzers, I just got a friend now. Gus, in my mind. What a fucking degenerate. So, as friends, want to come over to my house? Go to his house? Nuh uh. Nuh uh, I don't want to come over right now. Maybe another time. <sighs> well, all right, at least I got a new friend now. Goodbye then. Goodbye. He hung. What <laughs> the fuck made this game? He hungs up. I have a bad feeling about him, but it doesn't matter anyway because I'm moving to Germany next morning. The no coming over ending. <laughs> Dude, what happens if I hit load game? If there's places to save. Of course. Of course. What is your name? Alright, we gotta get every John Pork ending. This is fucking terrible. Hi, uh, John Pork. I'm stroking my shit right now. Do you wanna be friends? Yep. Do you wanna go to my house? Yes. Alrighty, come to- come at 6353 Juan Tabo, apartment 6. I'll see you. Phone call ended. <laughs> Just to be safe, do you take a pistol with you? If yes, which pistol? Ooh, guys. Yes, Glock 17, or yes, Six Hour M17, or no. What would you guys do? I, unironically, best game we've played today so far. I need full eyes up. I need all hands on deck right now. Should we take that SIG, bro? Hydrated thinks so. Phoebe thinks the SIG. Everyone's saying SIG. I'm taking that SIG. You decide to take the Six Hour M17 with you. Also, good time to drop a save. We don't know what's going to go down. Empty save slot. Okay, back at it. Gus, in my mind. Boop, boop, boop. That address seems familiar, but all right. You drive to 6353 Juan Tabo. Wait! This is where fucking Gail Bedecker lives in Breaking Bad. 6353 Juan Tabo, apartment 6. John Pork approaches you. Oh, God. Well, hello, friend. Hello, I guess. Come on in. You go in the house. Well, it's kind of late. I think we should sleep now. <laughs> we didn't even do anything. <laughs> Let me show you your place where you can sleep. Here's your bedroom. It's pretty late, so yeah. Good night, then. Good night. Gus, in mind. Why did I went? to some stranger's house. Probably because this game is goofy as shit. But who cares? Time to sleep. The next morning arrives. You get out of bed and go to the living room. You hear weird noises. What are these noises? They're coming from the basement. Go to the basement? Lieutenant Cranky, thanks for the prime sub. Lieutenant Cranky, I need your answer right now. Are we going to the basement with John Pork? I'm glad that you have, that you have enjoyed yourself here. Thank you, Lieutenant Cranky. I'm only gonna do what Lieutenant Cranky wants on this next one. Yes! Thank God I got the six hour under my jacket. Oh, that looks fucked. It does look very scary. Go down the stairs that lead to the basement? Yes. Just to be sure, I'll go with my pistol in. Here goes nothing. Oh! <laughs> what, what game is that asset from, bro? <laughs> you shouldn't be here. I... You see just in time that he's reaching for his pistol out! So you shoot him! I... Ooh.
What? <laughs> what the fuck happened, bro? Um. Ignore. You run away and go back home. <laughs> Secret basement, bro. <laughs> Come on, dude. What the fuck is that noise? I better load the game. Thank God I, I freaking saved. All right, I'm back at Wantabo. I brought the six hours still. I sleep the night. What's that? Go to the basement? No. I won't go into that basement. I'll just wait for... Uh, da, 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 John? John Pork comes from the basement. Oh, I didn't realize you're awake. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you to leave now. Should we leave or no? I don't even need to see a vote. No. I don't want to leave. I'm sorry, but again, I have to ask you to leave now. No, I... Leave now. I said no. Dot, dot, dot. John Pork takes his Glock out and shoots you. Everything happened fast. You bleed out on his floor and die. Blood should have left, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. That's stupid. Yippee, says John Pork. The no leave ending. Wait, I want. I just gotta speed run it. Gus. Who the fuck calls it this honor? It's John Pork. Yep, 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 yep. I'll be your friend. Yep, 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 yep. I'll go to your house. Yep, 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 yep. Now what happens if I take the Glock? I'm at Wantabo. Hello, going in the house. Time to late. Time to go sleep. Should I go to the basement? No. Should I leave? No. Oh! He still took out his Glock. Okay, I'm speed running this. Gus. Oh, Gus 3. Fuck. Hello, John Pork? Yeah, I'll be your friend. Go to his house? Yes. Take no gun. John Pork approaches you. Come on in! Alright, wakes up. Go to the basement? Yes. Looks scary. No, I will go back. You go back to the living room. I won't go in that basement. I'll just wait for John. Didn't realize you're awake. Leave now. Okay. Goodbye. I think we've exhausted all of the content around the John Pork game. Gus, I hear if you set your name to Tim, you get the good ending? John Pork speedrun? Go to the basement? Yep. Yep. John pulls out his Glock and shoots you, then he proceeds to skin you and eat your human flesh. Now you're also one of the rotting bodies in the basement? Tim, what the fuck? Tim! I was sold a bill of false goods. I do want to see how, how quick I can, I can speed run one playthrough of this. Look at this. You see that? Going for the world record. Start. What is your name? Second I hit enter, it starts, okay? Nine seconds. <laughs> That's pretty good, dude. <laughs> That's pretty. Beat it. All I'm saying, you guys. Fucking beat it. All right. That's enough of that shit. Um, it's a good game. Guys, rate the John Pork game. Everybody get your votes in. I hold the world record for the John Pork speed run, by the way. I just want full credit. I think that's not a bad thing to ask. How are you rating this higher? Okay, you know what? That's fine. Then open house. Okay. No, that's uh, that's good. It's pretty good. It's good, 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 good. Yeah. What did Tim do while I was out of the room? He got me freaking killed, B, is what he did. John Pork shot me with his freaking Glock, dude. Any other brilliant suggestions? <laughs> stupid but fun, stupid. In terms of an itch.io experience, I will give that a six. And that is probably shockingly higher than you'd think. Uh, but that gets a six. Oh, wait, there's a John Pork story mode, too. Oh, that's what we just did. John Pork call simulator? Uh-uh. 
John Pork, a short horror game. Now that just doesn't even look like a thing. John Pork Survival? Dude, I have to do this. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys are like, don't fucking do this. I'm playing John... Who? Oh, wait. Who votes John Pork Survival? And now who votes you guys are boring and stink and don't want us to play John Pork Survival? Guys, the proof is in the pudding. I don't know what to tell you. Any Quiznos games, says Mashed Tato? Ooh, good comps. Let me see. Quiznos. No results found. Is there any for Subway? Subway. Make your own sub at a strange Subway shop. Okay. Okay. JPS. J Wait, what's JPS? Oh, John Pork Survival. I'm dumb. I already forgot. Um, thank you, by the way, for the 100 Bitties Espresso Ride. Are you still up on my roof, by the way? Is there something I can throw up there? I don't know if Espresso's still up there. I don't hear Espresso Rat walking around. What do you all put on your Harvey's hamburger to make it a beautiful day, says Waggle Dance Pete. Ooh, I don't know if I know the answer to that one. We'll have to keep an eye out. I've just successfully downloaded John Pork Survival, by the way. It's time to open it. I feel like this is going to be a very loud game, frankly. John Pork, wh why did the meme originate? What is this from, originally? I need a cup of coffee. It's already done, but I need it to complete John Pork Simulator. It's downloading. John Pork started as a VTuber? Is this real? Fibby says, I'm gonna go get some coffee and NOS from the drugstore. I got a, light, a late flight. There you go, dude. Good luck with that, Fibby. I'm rolling up the shirt sleeves. Time to fuck shit up, baby. Also, Gus, the asset that you're talking about in the last game, the weird music static, is known as the Creepy Half-Life song. It originated from one of the Half-Life games. Interesting, I did not know that. All right, here we go. You see the sweat building up? I'm stressed. I don't trust John Pork. Certainly not as far as I could throw him. All right, let's open it up. So this is going to clearly be loud as a motherfucker, so let's get that volume mixer turned down ASAP, ASAP. Yup, caught it just in time. Warning! Oop. Warning! The game contains jump scares! I understand. Uh-oh, wanted dead or alive. Armed and very dangerous. Cash reward, $20,000. Guys, eyes up. Oh, wow, dude. <laughs> oh, no, bro. Nah, bro, that ain't me. Answer now! <laughs> I know where you fucking live. Don't you dare ignore me. He's probably faking it. I will continue sleeping. What was that? Oh my god, this is like an actual fucking game. I can hide? I'm hiding in here all night. I just drank half a cup of coffee. Dare me to drive? Uh. Interact. Dude, why am I actually a little... <laughs> Is this the only fucking asset they have of John Pork? The door's locked. I need a key for it. Oh, shit. What? What the fuck? Hey, John. AI Mona Lisa. All right. 
couple options. Why am I afraid right now, too? This is fucking ridiculous, bro. Croppy, don't you ever, bro. You go to your goddamn room and you fall asleep now. Okay, I need a key. There's got to be a key here somewhere. Uh, oh, John Pork! Oh, fuck you, dude. I'm in. I don't think John Pork saw me. He's right outside. John Pork? He moves slow. He's going upstairs. Bye, John Pork. Okay, I'm looking over here. You still gone? He's gone. Oh, I got the key. The very green key. Uh. Wait, six? Number one is six, it said. Oh, is it telling me the order of the fucking notes? Number one is six. I got five more notes. Shut up, John! Okay, I will get up there. I don't need to hide yet. Oh, dude! He's fucking off. He's gone. Ooh, that's Jonathan Pork Loin. That's pretty good. Oh, you bitch is behind me! Oh! <laughs> fuck you, get in, 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 get in. <laughs> fuck you, John! He's out. Couldn't catch me. <laughs> Sir Loin himself. Damn, dude, this new Amnesia the Dark Descent remake is awesome. Honestly, this would be Machine for Pigs, let's be honest, though. All right, he's gone. Oh, I got a key. Main door yellow key. Number one is six. <gasps> oh, weapon. What? Why can't I fucking use that? Six, eight. Okay. John? I don't see him. Six, eight. I need a key for it? I fucking have keys. Okay, six, eight. Oh, oh, bitch. Oh, wow, he's slow. Remember the one green book in the left bookshelf. Uh-oh. John Pork is down there, guys. Okay, hold on. Can I get out this original one? Six, eight. One green book in the bookshelf. John Pork. Oh, there he is. Bro is slow as hell. Okay, I'm gonna let him go upstairs and then I'm gonna go to the basement. Hello? Jump pork? Never gonna catch me! <laughs> is he coming in? I think he gave up. Yeah, this does look like Granny, doesn't it? Alright, I'm out. There he goes. He's going upstairs. <clears throat> All right, I'm off to the cellar. Six, eight, in that order. I got to remember this. John Pork does not have object permanence. You're correct about that. Uh oh, shit's looking somewhat fucked down here, frankly. Oh, what the fuck? There's nothing down here.
Don't love this. Okay. All right. All right. Looking pretty interact. I got the yellow one. Fuck you. I need the green one. Why is it playing the chase music? How do I get the blue key? This game might actually be bad, I'm starting to think. <laughs> I don't I don't think we're going to finish this one. I mean, it is a meme. It truthfully is a meme. I can walk right through the stool. <clears throat> Should we see what happens when John Pork catches us? First, I want to see how hideable this shit actually is. He's standing right outside. Bye, John Pork. I'm out. John Pork? John Pork? All right, let's see what happens when John Pork catches us. Jump scare warning. God damn, this is a not losable game. You always move faster than John Pork. What happens, guys? Oh, no! Holy trap! John Pork freaking got... The bad ending. John Pork found you and killed you in the worst way possible. Better not get luck in the next life, dude. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I mean... That's gonna get a 3.5 for me. 3.5? I mean, there was a structure. But it wasn't entertaining. Like, here's the thing. The John Pork calling simulator got a 6. And that was, like, arguably way worse. Like, it was horrible. But it was funny. You know what I mean? This was not funny, and it was bad. So it gets a 3-5. But I'm curious to see what you guys think. Prediction result is 3-1 to 6. Oh, I did not know you were going to get the scale on that one. 3.1 to 6. There we go. Uh, Poppy or Gubba Bell, good morning, dude. Lovely to see you. Thank you for 21 months, Poppy or Gubba Bell. Toilet says, I think button balls. I think so, too. Poppy or Gabba Bell, do you have a rating on John Pork Survival Horror Simulator.net? I think that was probably a pretty fair one. Let's see what else we got. I wish there was a better way to search fun stuff. It was easy when we searched, like, SpongeBob, you know, because that was a specific thing. But I wish we could see, like, goofy, stupid, bad, funny games a little bit easier. Good morning, Gus and Chap. They're scaled a little weird because you tend to rate games high. That's true. That's true. I'm a little all over the map on that. I... My exclusive rating is just gut impression. Like, how much did I enjoy that? I was like, I didn't particularly enjoy it. But it was something. It was something. Oh. Excuse me. Search for stupid. Oh, Simpsons is a great idea. I want to do Simpsons and stupid. The Simpsons cube. You have 30 minutes to move your cube. This is a Magic the Gathering cube inspired by the Simpsons. What? Oh, dude, this is great. Okay, they're like magic cards. That's kind of fun. Ban Ben's funny. It has uh, horror in it, so it's like a mix of two great things. Okay, I'll have to check that out, too. Thank you, Nick. The Simpsons, a pixel art project. I mean, I just... Simpsons UFO scene. Simpsons trivia. Bart vs. Space Mutants rematch. The Simpsons hit and run... Wait. This is one of those things you click on, you go like, I know I'm getting scammed, but the leggings are $2, so I have to check it out. This is how I get a Trojan virus. Would you guys keep clicking on this if it were you? <laughs> Toylord says, I am very not used to smoking the weeds and accidentally did that tonight. I feel like there is a huge wave headed towards me. Please save me. I don't want to die in the wave. Toylord, that's okay. I know you might be a little bit freaked out, um, but I promise you that this is going to pass. Um, the high will not last forever, Toy Lord, frankly. And may I just be the first to say um, this.
So without further ado, <laughs> I get a million memes on you, Toy Lord. You've hit me with a fucking trillion of these. <laughs> No, it's okay. You're fine. You're gonna be okay. You're okay. That's fine. Anyway. Wait, also, what am I doing? Why am I even considering doing this? Why the fuck would I download this file? Is this the actual game? Probably not, right? Oh, yeah, dude. This one is the best one, though. Hold on. This was the original. This was the original of that. It was the don't watch this while stoned. Here, can I... Hold on. So, I don't remember who did this. Was this Delta? This was from a long time ago, but here's what happened. Hey, Gus, I'm kind of stoned, so don't say anything that would freak me out. Thanks. Yeah, dude, no worries. I will. I'm inside your house right now, and I'm coming right toward you. <laughs> I like that. It's a good meme. It's just a good meme. Oh, fuck you. I want specifically ZXSQ's opinion. Would you download this? Would you download this? Would you? Fuck no. <laughs> All right, I'm not, I'm not downloading it. Oh, damn it, I really wish I knew what it was though. Shit. It looks so promising. Kind of cool. This is like the fucking full game. Don't worry, it's no virus. ZX, it's paid, bro. Rendering, loading is taking too long. Where's the music? This a virus? The reviews are glowing. Why would you not download this game? Gus, buy Pal World? Oh, I've had so many people tell me to buy Pal World. I might have to. Simpson, shoot and run? I'm obviously going to fucking do this one immediately. Uh. Whoa, keep an eye on that. Download. Sponge Glock Squarepants is clearly going to be the next one, too, by the way. Alright, time to download. Take me to downloads. Download. Love it. Alright, first one we're opening is going to be... The package is just called Builds? It's something. It's something. What is this emote? Oh, Fibby. So, when I played the Elder Scrolls games Oblivion and Skyrim, I have a one item that I'm not allowed to drop for the entire playthrough, and if I do drop it, I have to delete the entire save file. Those are the shoes... Sorry, the boots and the broom. Uh, I've not dropped them. So I'm still cooking. Alright, let's see if this one worked. Where's my downloads folder? Builds first. Oh, you little son of a gun. Here we go. Builds, builds. Simpsons URP. Okay, so this is Simpsons shoot and run is first. Oh, gotta turn the volume down. Yo! Hold on. Yo, Crappy, have a good rest of your night. Thanks for hanging out with us, dude. Dude, yo, dude. Okay, this needs a little bit more volume. Let me know if it's too too hot. Whoa! Dude! Okay, I'm already kind of liking this one. Hey, Marge, what's shaking? There you are. 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 Press enter to continue. Marge's been feeling down lately. He's not telling me what's wrong. Go give him the fatherly talk and figure out what's happening. Bart? This is kind of cool. Somebody modeled all this. Whoa. Hit him with the reload. Can't get out. Bart? Hello? Simp in basement? What's on the fucking couch, bro? Da 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 da. Uh, oh! No! Ah, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, damn it! No! Fuck you! Okay, oh, I'm gonna get back in. Son, son of a. Fuck! Okay. Fuck. That, uh, okay, I gotta relaunch the game. Shockingly, 
to the surprise of all of us, it was not a perfect game. I don't know how that happened, but we're going to definitely be keeping an eye on this. I'll just relaunch it. Take him out back and treat me like old yeller. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, back in it. Susan, thank you for the game capture. Special Joey, what's going on, dude? Yeah, I think I might have spotted a bug too, Mash Tato. God damn it! I got stuck again! There we go. Ooh, this 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 one's a little glitchy. Go talk to Bart. Okay. Objective. Consult Bart. This does not feel like the actual layout of Simpson's house. Okay, up here. Bart. Merge. Merge. I can't do a uh, Homer Simpson voice. Go! It's five out of ten. Hey, yo, Bart, where you at, brother? Lisa's getting down in here, dude. Yo, what the fuck is going on, bro? Look what I can do. Hell yeah, Lisa. Let's go, gamer. Hey, Bart, what's shaking, bro? Mom sent you, huh? Fine, I'll just tell you. Nelson stole my video game off me. I really want it back. Go outside, find the bullies. All right, I'm in there. Gonna repeat this to anybody? That's what I thought. All right, we're gonna go find the bullies. Nelson! Willie's here! Whoa, dude, this is kind of bigger than I thought, actually, bro. All right, no, Nelson lives. Oh, wait, no, uh, Millhouse lives next door. What's up, Carl? How you doing, bro? I can't interact with him. Oh, there's the bullies. Hey, Nelson. What up, fuckwad? Of course you want the game back. <laughs> Click. Here, but I have a surprise for you. Oh, fuck you, Nelson! <laughs> fuck you! Objective, find Apu and Quickie Mart to fix the game? Okay, I gotta go fucking talk to Bart. Bart? Bart? Get the... Mom said, Nelson stole my game. Go outside, find the bullies. Lisa? Where is she? Lisa? No locked doors, honey. Where are you at? What? What? Why? 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 I'm not doing anything. Sometimes you guys disappoint me. <laughs> hey, Carl! Boom! Oh, no! Hey, Nelson! Nobody likes you! Boom! 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 What? Can I get in the jalopy? Don't even work like that. Oh, let me get some cover. Of course you want the game back. I have a surprise for you! Not today, bitch! I'm out, I'm out! Ow! Oh, fuck, damn it! Okay, 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 okay. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. I gotta get out. Gotta get out. I missed the sub? I don't think I did. Did I miss any subs? I don't see it. I missed it. Oh, Lisa's back. What up, dude? Look what I can do. Oh, that one was an accident, though. I swear to God. The others also... Okay, she's not back yet either. Okay, can I... Good to know, guys. Good to know. Nuke him from orbit. This game reminds me of my real life. How? Thanks for the biddies. Appreciate you, Fibby. Appreciate you, for Toy Lord. Do I? I guess I got to talk to Bart first. Hey, Marge. Okay. Gamer time again. This game looks pretty cool, though. It is satisfying to be able to shoot everybody. 
Okay, nothing here. Bart, I'll get you your shit back, dude. Don't worry. Okay, now I get to go out. Maggie's still gone. I don't know where she went. I didn't do shit. Okay, we're out. Carl? Mr. W there's Willie? Willie can't do anything. I gotta really explore the, the parameters of this map. Damn, they, they have a lot of stuff in here, actually. This is Unreal Engine 90? Yeah, clearly. Oh, damn it. Oh, please let me keep going. Fuck you. No. What? Oh, I thought I could keep going. God damn it, Willie. Son of a bitch. This is Marge's Caravan. I played that in Simpsons Hit and Run. Still a pretty good amount of Springfield they got in here, though. Go outside and find the bullies? I mean, I already found the damn bullies. Is this Ben Franklin, bro? Hey, Dr. Hibbert. Where are your pupils? Boom! I gotta find Quickie Mart. Apu, uh, where are you? There's Krusty Burger. Hello? Where the fuck is the Quickie Mart? There's like buildings that I can't access. Where the fuck is this thing? Krusty Burger? I'm getting there, dude. Who will invent electricity? Brother, I don't know. Oh, here's Quickie Mart. Okay. Hey, Apu! Apu? Hello? Oh, there's Seymour's mom. Boom! Alright, how we doing over here? Apu, where are you, bro? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Hello? Where the fuck is Apu? Okay, we'll find it. This is Bart's hair as a fence. Hello? I hate to break it to you, this is not an officially licensed Simpsons game. Why? That does not make sense. Do you know where Apu is? Fuck you. Hey, Carl. Where's Apu? Fuck you. King Toot Music Store. Can I go into Moe's? Moe? Crazy Larry's Hardware. We put the lazy and crazy. That's what I'm saying, bro. Springfield Union. Oh, here's Nelson, though. I'm surprised that does not actually work. I think they want me to do it around the corner. Watch this. Watch this. I'll do it. I'll do it far. Ah, you fuck. What the fuck? Why am I not able to? Damn it. Update on Simpsons Hit and Run. It's literally just the game. I even put it through vir vi virus total and it's fine. Wait. It's like the actual. Is it the full game? Are there issues with it? Is Virus Total just like it scans it and it just tells you if there's if it's fucked or whatever? Yeah, I'm I'm curious if treasure if like cover helps you too. Here, let's try it. Dude, Jimbo just looks Ah you son of a bitch! That I'm not they can shoot through buildings. Huh? Damn it, this seems like this game is fun like and it's got some meme ability to it but I do not know how to do everything in it sounds good Bart I'll go get the bullies website that scans it with like 50 different tools at once damn that's actually kind of a cool tool to have um, sorry Marge uh, Duh oh all right I'm out Willie done Carl, done. This guy, done. I wonder if I can collateral these guys. You think? Yo. Yo! Find a poo and Quickie Mart to fix the game. I fucking did it, actually. What up, Benny? Oh! What up, Hibbert? Boom! Apu? Oh, finally! Yo, they got a lot of stuff going on in here. Oh, it's the mob dude. What up? 
Hmm, so the game's broken. Not my expertise, but I may know someone who can help for the right price. Apu scare meter? Okay, sir, I'll tell you. Please don't shoot. Go to the jazz hole. You may find someone who knows Professor Fink. He'll be able to help you. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> okay, that's fair. It isn't showing your game capture? I think it is, though. Okay, go to the jazz hole. I could do that. I like the music on this. It's just ridiculous. Where is the jazz hole? There it is. I feel like you probably would be able to go into most of these buildings then. Hello? Oh, <laughs> what are we doing in here, bro? Hey, hey Homer. So you want to get uh, uh, hold of Professor Frank? Let me try contacting him. Looks like you got some company. Uh oh. Oh! Gotcha, bitch. Take that, Chief Wiggum. Someone's in trouble. I've gotten a hold of Professor Frank. Let me take you to him. Thanks, Barney. Whoa. Dude, they put a lot of environments in this game. Where the fuck did they get all these? Perfect Bart. <laughs> I get a whale. Blah, game broken. No problem. I just finished making a new invention. Uh, unless we fix any broken item, just leave it to me. Here we go. He's doing it. Thank you. I was an okay, Professor Frank. Hurry up! I just finished making a new invention. Uh, hurry up! Speak with Snake to figure out what he wants? Oh, oh! <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Get out of my way. I'm taking that invention from Frank for myself. Whoa! Okay, good to know. Hondo P, dude. Oh, dude, boss fight. This is actually, like, not too fucking terrible. I mean, it, it, it at least plays. It plays. Oh, I'm just gonna spam him right here. Oh, fuck you. It got through. It got through. Okay. I'm whittling him down. Oh, I gotta get... Ah, oh, fuck you. Frank's invention is limiting your gun range. Objective stop snake. What? Where the fuck is snake then? Oh, Bart, I got your game shit fixed. Hey, bro. What's going on, dude? Well, you actually did it, Dad. Thank you so much. You bet, dude. Oh! Looks like Professor Frank's fix wasn't solid. The game explodes and kills Bart. God damn it. Oh, shit. I gotta pee. Toy Lord, I see you, bro. One sec, I gotta pee.
I'm back, baby. Toy Lord, thanks for summoning up. Get a whale. How you doing, whale? Very nice of you, Toy Lord. Thank you for doing that. Sorry, I stepped away during the middle of this very serious gameplay loop over here. I hope I didn't compromise any of the uh, main story at all. Okay, that's a good game. That's a good game. It's really broken. In terms of an itch.io experience, I will give that... I gotta think about this. 7-9. Seven, 7-9. Nine. Seven, nine. Get your ratings in. I don't want to influence you too much. That gets a 7-9 for me. That was not bad. It was kind of a fun meme. They did put a lot more work into it than I thought. 7-5 says Delta. 8 from uh, Bob Ross Squirrel. Let me finish my night coffee over here, eh? We have a few Simpsons ones to try now, it seems. Ah, delicious. Night coffee complete. That sounds good, get away. I'm happy to hear that. Did somebody pay out the bet already? Ooh, I don't know, actually. I give it a 7-9, though. Big time. I doubt they made that map. 5-5, five, 7-5 five, five if they made the map. That's fair. Delta says 7-5. Corrupted Ocelot, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's A-OK -okay with me, dog. Yeah, not a bad one. Not disappointed at all. Let's try another download one. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have Sponge Glock Square Pants next. I am, there is nothing close to the amount of stuff for SpongeBob over here. I'm surprised that that's the most, uh, IP Tugboat Johnson, bro. Tugboat Johnson, dude. Thank you so much. Great time for a group cheers on that one. Yo, indeed, Reno. Bro, Tugboat, cheers, dude. Tight Fiverr, 300 Sub Club. God damn. We get a little love for Tugboat Johnson. Tugboat's always tooting on through, dude. Usually Tugboat swings through to just go beep, like one at a time and sub somebody else up. Five at once, bro. 300. Thank you. That is a huge deal. Big cheers. Big group cheers on that one. I'm glad I'm here with you guys on a Thursday night. Thank you, Johnson. <sighs> Delicious. Dark Lance, dude. Thank you for the biddies, too. Thanks for the chill night. I appreciate that. Thank you, Dark Lance. Yeah, it's been nice. It's been a fucking nuts all week. This is the exact kind of night I needed. So I'm glad we're all hanging out together, gang. Thank you very much. Uh, and I think you just started the hype train. Dark Lance and Tugboat Johnson. Appreciate you doing that. Yes, you did. Almost level three. Thank you indeed. Beep, beep, says ZX. Yes, 300 gifted is very wild. Big cheers on that. Reno says cheers. Dumbass says cheers. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Very chill indeed. Um, that's not too damn bad. Johnson, how's your week been going? I know you usually are kind of quiet in chat, so no worries if you're just chilling and stuff, but I uh, hope you had a nice week so far. I guess it's technically almost done. We're about to play Sponge Glock Square Pants. All right, do I have to re-extract this? Oh. Let's try it. Excuse me. Threats found. <laughs> Damn it. Sponge Glock Square Pants. Installer. 8664. I'm running it. It says that there's a virus in here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Windows security threats found. Would you not do this? Oh, you had a night out. Now you're chilling for bed. Dude, nice. Nice, 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 dude. Did you get some good food? Did you do some activities? That sounds good. Yeah, maybe don't. Okay, maybe I won't. <laughs> Damn it, I really want to play Sponge Glock Square Pants. Fuck. Why is that got to have viruses on it, dude? That's some bullshit. All right, I guess we're back in on this then. Uh, where's my window capture? John Pork Story Mode? No, dude, give me a little bit of this. No Chrome. Let's delete this. Doink. Window capture. Yeah, it should be just Firefox. There we go. Beautiful. Tim, thank you for subbing up Cube of Meat. I could go for a nice cube of meat right now. Perhaps some Wagyu beef. Thank you, Tim. Rule breaker, but I appreciate you, bro. Cheers, says Tim. I got a dip. Catch you all later. Have a good night, Tim. We'll see you later, dude. Have a happy Friday in case we don't see you. Thank you very much, Tim. Appreciate you, dude. I'll pop this in here. 
Yeah, damn it, I want to play Sponge Glock Squarepants. Hey, I can't win them all. Getting a little cluttered over here, one sec. All right, perfect. I searched for Simpsons again. <laughs> Wait, Ned Flanders kills the Simpsons? Oh, bro. Is this a downloadable game? This looks like an actual thing. Bender kills... A game by David Mills. What? Okay, what the fuck is this? All right, we got to play Ned Flanders kills the Simpsons. I'm in there. Elevated Dread Insomni's Experience. Experiment. All right, let's extract this bad boy. Guys, if you tried not a Trojan.exe, it's a very fun game. Yo, dude. That actually sounds really good. Dark Lance, that's a good suggestion. We did Family Guy games before, but I check out to see if there's any more. Totally, dude. Totally, totally. I can't believe Simpsons Hit and Run is okay, but Sponge Glock Squarepants has a virus. Dude, right? Okay, I'm going to open uh, Ned Flanders Kills the Simpsons. I'm going to try to turn the volume down ASAP because I'm sure it'll probably be loud. Run anyway. Quick volume mixer. Oh, fuck you. I couldn't get it in time. Close your ears. That's not that bad. Okay. They are all against you. You must kill them all. They all must die. Oakley Dokley. I'm in this. I'm fucking in this, bro. Hype train, let's go, baby. Thank you so much for the subs and bits tonight. That's really sweet of you. Appreciate you guys doing that so very much. I've been having some fucking fun tonight. Find a weapon. Are the Simpsons in their home? Oh! Where are they? Give me a gun. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude. I dig the fucking art style on this one. God damn. Where's the gun? Where's the glockly walkly, dude? Maybe it should have said glockly broccoli. That would have fit a little bit better. Press LMB to highlight. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask the whole family to kind of freeze and prepare for reading education. Oh. Marge! Hold LMB, charge, release LMB to attack. What the fuck, bro? That's so fucking gruesome, bro. What the fuck? What the hell? That is so much more violent than I thought it was gonna be. What the fuck? The limp looks so realistic. Um, all right. Okay, yep, Hundo P, dude. All right, yep, she's get almost done. This feels wrong, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm a mad, deadly hurdler. Okay, that feels, I shouldn't look at that. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, the clown. The only one of you buffoons who doesn't make me laugh. This would make a great VR game? I think great is pretty loosely defined, frankly. I didn't try, dude, Fibby. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Oh, sledgehammer or knife? I think we go sledge. That is just that was that's kind of brutal. <laughs> that was a little bit that was a little much, bro. I'm gonna be honest, dude. That was uh it was a little steep. Frankly, is Homer still out there? Oh, Homer's still sleeping out there. I'm gonna go for Homer next. <laughs> Merge! Oh! Kill best friend! Why why is your gun cock? Uh, you're wide behind won't save you this time. 
Like, the art style looks good on this, but... This is just, like, fucking torture porn. What the fuck? Alright, can I get in this way? That'd have been kind of cool. Alright, I'm going inside. The only people left in the family are kids, so I guess we'll check that out upstairs. That's... David Mills, bro, what? What's you good, bro? <laughs> this is like, this is actually fucked up. I, uh. Oh, Bioshock Wrench. David Mills, you hey, actually back good? Off, man. Oh, okay, dude. I wouldn't want you to have a cow, man. Jesus Christ. I'm not killing anybody else, dude. I am not killing anybody else. Di Why? Like this is pro this has got to be TOS, right? There's no fucking way. Yeah, I'm not, dude, okay, I'm not getting my shit fucked over here. Hold on, here's what I'm doing, here's what I'm doing. Let me click this. Sure, wait, can I do this? Okay, you can't see it. I just gotta, I will just finish it to see what the game loop is quick. I'm going to have a stern talking to to Bart. Hey guys, it's just a stern talking to. I don't think Maggie's even in this game. What the fuck is the point of this game? Oh my god, bro! There, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Just don't fuck that game, bro. I gotta delete that. How is that fine and fucking Sponge Glock Squarepants is not okay? Bruh. Bruh. David Mills, you good, bro? What the fuck was that? I like to- yeah, seriously not killing Bart. He's the only one that has it coming. There you go. That was an experience. Get- get the ratings in. <laughs> I rate that if- I mean, if I'm being non-TOS honest, cool art style, it is unique, I'd give it a six. But, what's a guy to do? I also could not find Maggie, truthfully. So, but I was not about to kill Maggie. What the fuck was that shit, dude? What? Uh, All right, let's check out what else we got over here. I like that the smooth smooth jazz just comes in like it's no big deal Bart's cupcake crisis Bart versus the space uh, mutants the rematch Interesting I give it a six official score six Also, there are a lot more of these than I thought Simpsons brawl Simpsons shoot and run Simpsons challenge kill Bart FS 22 the Simpsons camper all right, Simpsons Pac-Man. That's kind of funny. Simpsons Shootout. That is just a picture of a koala or something. That's interesting. Bart versus Homer Saurus. Watch Homer Simpson. Some of these games don't look as good. Homer Simpson Donut Extreme. Simpson. Simpsons Trivia Game. Okay, there actually are a lot of results for The Simpsons. 
Shars demo. Oh my <laughs> bro, dude. Vagina tree. I like the vagina tree, frankly. Bird. Explore Simpsons Paradox. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, any other recommendations for search terms that I should try? I like Simpsons. We did Family Guy before. We got a lot of good stuff out of it. I almost want to search Fallout again after we found Lego Fallout. Meg Random Episode Generator. We did Family Guy RTX previously. That was kind of funny. Escape Peter Griffin's Backrooms. We already did that, too. Family Guy, a freaking RPG. Family Guy Tycoon. Interesting. Anime Family Guy. Family Guy Bertram Returns Chain Bootleg. Ratatouille? Ooh, I like Ratatouille. Let's try that one. Ratat... Ratatatatouille. That's a fucking funny idea. So that looks like a shooter game. Yo, I actually kind of want to play Ratatatatouille. Hold on. I'm coming back to this one. That actually looks fun. Ratatouille. This is just regular ass Ratatouille. But this is in like Russian or some shit. Oh, damn. This actually looks kind of like a game, though. I will not be able to understand it, though. It is in like Russian. Ratatouille 2 looks good. Ratatouille Interactive Story. Ratatouille Culinary Rush. Okay, I gotta try Ratatouille, dude, all day. Gus, I just wanted to let you know I had chicken bacon ranch stuck in my head to the point of coworkers asking me what the fuck I was singing, so I had to show them. It's so gold. Oh, dude, thank you. I still gotta finish it. I gotta do it, dude. Chicken bacon ranch, chicken bacon ranch. All right, I'm downloading Ratatouille, which is just a 10 out of 10 title, by the way. Twin stick shooter. Does this have fucking controller support? No way, dude. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it on WASD with the mouse. Very good meme. Extract all, extract. Oh, what? I couldn't extract it? Oh, what the fuck? Why didn't it work? Ratatatouille, extract all, extract. Oh, man, dude, Ratatatouille would not work. There's only one download link. It didn't work. Shit, that's the only one I actually want to play. Okay, very good comps. Somebody else said Toy Story? I'm going to try Toy Story. Toy Story 3D, that just looks like a regular-ass game. Toy Story game. Alien from Toy Story. Love it, love it. A lost Toy Story. Uh-uh. Anybody else have any other suggestions? How about Monsters, Inc.? I didn't see that, but I want to check. Mike Monsters, Inc. Inch by inch. Oh, shit, I forgot. The whole funny reason I was going to tell you about that date was that I got a chicken bacon ranch. <laughs> Gus, that was the whole funny thing. How did I forget? Okay, that is pretty funny, dude. That's a very safe date food, too. It does not upset the stomach, and it does not adversely affect your breath. Boom, baby. Grinch, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Futurama, Star Trek. Okay, these are all great. Let's check Star Trek first. The Star Trek ones seem like they'd have less of a ceiling to be funny and more just potentially interesting. Glorious Wolf. Nice. Oh, A Bug's Life? That's probably more obscure. I don't think there'd be anything for that. That's... There's something. What is this one? Run Bugs Life. I'm just looking. I'm not committing. Call next ant? Hold on. Is this the whole thing? What? All right. Well, I respect the person for making it. Good on you for the game jam, but that ain't it, Chief. Uh, Futurama. Well, let's try Grinch. I don't know Futurama well enough for there to be a meme. I'm sorry. I, I pretty much never watched the show. Grinch, dude, I love this. Grinch Simulator 2. Expect bugs. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. Look at this. This is kind of sad. This one person left comments. Yo, Dev, want to play with me? I played it. It's nice, but I don't have friends, so I don't know if it works or not. I have not played it, but the image and logo is promising, unless you took it from Google. If so, 
I mean, if you're going to judge like that, bro, maybe that's why you don't have friends. It's just like, look at yourself to some extent. All I'm saying. Saddest shit I ever saw. The Grinch actually steals Christmas. Nice. Give me some more search terms. All right, we'll try Ed, Ed, and Eddie, but that's not as interesting, I feel like. Ed D. Hill. Ed, Ed, and Eddie RPG. Eddie the Mole. Secret Asian Eddie. Museum Eddie. Yeah, that is not canonic. This is the only one that is actually the show. King of the Hill. I like it. Oh, I got to remember to search Fallout, too. What the fuck? That does not look like Hank. Um, okay. There's no King of the Hill games, bro? That is a little bit surprising. Let's try Fall- Oh, dude, I gotta fucking search Skyrim! How have I not looked at that? Fallout platformer, that- Yeah, I don't know about that. Fallout first multiplayer game, okay? Hey, ZX, dude! Fallout ZX- ZX Spectrum 48K, that's kinda fun. Fallout 2 Remake RPG 3D? What? Yo, this actually looks intricate as shit. Yeah, it didn't it didn't extract ZX. The Ratatatatouille one didn't. I don't know, th this almost seems way too big to do. Like it's a big thing to bite off, but okay, I kind of just want to see what this thing is. I'm just going to see what this thing is, but I'm going to just tell you right now there's no way I'm finishing it. I just want to see. There are a lot of options for this. Because in, in case you didn't know. Hold on. It's doing some weird installer shit. In case you didn't know, the first couple Fallout games were uh, just point and click stuff. Did that do it? Down, download. Hold on. Worth checking out. I don't know yet. Donkey feet, how are you, dude? 11 months. I appreciate you, donkey. Hope you're doing well. That's almost a damn year, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. They're turn-based combat games. Okay, there we go. Turn-based is a better way to describe it. Probably want the 500 mil one further down the list. Yeah, okay. I'm downloading the Windows uh, one right now. It's extracting. It's almost complete. And then we will see. So far, the other Fallout one that we tried, the Lego Fallout one, that was actually kind of fun. I did not mind it. Five Nights at Mr. Beasts. <laughs> what the fuck are these Fallout games? Ah, uh, they're very good is what they are. Oh, I gotta crack my neck. All right, it's extracted. Let's see how it runs. Win 64. That's a million things in here. What the fuck? Fallout 2 pre-alpha. All right, let's try it. Open volume mixer. Okay, where where is it? I got a million fucking menus open. Yo, actually, Susan, can we get that game capture, please? Susan? Donkey Feet 4 just up, Susan. I really need that game capture, please. Also, Gregable's here, dude. Do you not see him down here, Susan? I'm sorry. Am I alone in this? Come across any bangers tonight? A couple of bangers, dude. Certainly not John Pork, though. I'm going to be honest. Thank you, Gregable. I appreciate the 14 months, dude. I hope you're doing well. How do I know you guys can hear this. Let me... Fuck, do I have to do a window capture for this? I'm going to try adding a window capture source. There it is, bro. Like, that looks fucking kind of cool, actually. Do 
Okay, and like I said... Whoa. Create character. I'm just, I'm just checking it. I'm not going through and playing this all right now. But I just want to see how it runs. So this is supposedly... Uh, here, can I go full screen on this? Alt enter is not working. We'll just hit done. Just give me, give me some stuff. What the fuck is this, dude? Take skills. Let's just go. Boink, boink, boink. I'm just randomly giving myself some shit. Wait a bit. Is it okay? Done. Hit done. Question mark. So this is supposedly taking what is a 2D turn-based combat game and making it 3D. Okay, cutscene. I'm sure there's some audio in here, but I'm skipping it. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa, bro! This is fucking cool as hell! Okay, definitely not playing through this, but also 100% actually kind of fucking sick. Dude, that is really cool. Yo! Okay, this is clearly way more advanced than I was expecting. Oh my god, I have a recharging stamina bar. Dude, this is actually kind of fucking nuts. Rat Scorpion? Okay, I died. Yo! Rest in peace, chosen one. Okay, this is, this is a big deal that we found this. Just so quick, just so quick. Uh, create character, da da da, we already did all this shit mostly. Just give ourselves some random ass shit. Okay, we got this. Yeah, <laughs> just full speed run. That is, like, super sick. So I can hold right mouse button like this, and it, it, like, quick pops up all this shit. Oh, my God! Okay, so you can go through these areas. I can already, like, punch and attack. Dude, okay. Anybody else gonna probably, like, check this out on their own now, or what? Yeah, also, Fallout 3 was a huge leap, no question. Who's gonna go through and check this out on their own? Because this is cool as shit. Some rad scorpions over there. How many environments did they translate through? The, the developer, whoever, like, put this up said that this was, like, really early, like, pre-alpha kind of shit, too, but... Dude, Delta is? Yeah, I was like, I'm sure some people are definitely going to go check this out. God damn, bro. This is so fucking sick. You miss? Oh my god, it's like full combat. I wish I could get a gun, but I can't imagine I'm going to do it. Like I said, I'm really not going to spend a ton of time with this, but that is fucking really good to know. Running through, running through. Run oh, get out of here. All right, that's sick as shit, dude. Okay, did you find it, ZX? Thank you. ZX has the link in there in case you want to check it out. I'm not going to go through and play this, but fucking hell, that's awesome as hell. I think this person was doing, like, Fallout 1 as well. It's so weird to see these early environments laid out like this, too. There's little sprites down here. God damn. All right, well, that's obviously fantastic. I'm going to exit out on that, but that is cool as shit. Big jump in graphics on that one, I agree. All right.
Damn. All right, that's sick as hell. Hold on, let me pop open another one here. I gotta search for more Fallout stuff, I think. Rating? Dude, it's hard for me to rate that, right? Because, like, I'm not really playing it through, but just knowing it exists, like... The fact that it is even in any broken, shitty, rudimentary state, I think, gives it an 8. It's really good. Like, that's an ambitious project. I'm going to give that an 8. Delta says 9, but I'm biased, dude. Fallout. That's cool. So that was Fallout 2 Remake RPG 3D. I wish I could see some more ratings of this or whatever. Questions and answers. Where should I give money to the cash machine? Can't seem to save my game. Issues I ran into. Your suggestions, ideas. Dude, that's sick as shit. Brandon goes, I'm going to say 7 out of 10 just to get a trend going. Dude, that's a fun one. Fallout Equestria remains. I don't think I'll play that one. Mojave, a New Vegas tribute. Oh, it's a tabletop RPG. <coughs> Dude, itch is awesome. Itch is honestly... <laughs> this is great. Fallout random character generator. <laughs> hey, dude. All right, let's see what happens if we do Skyrim. Shards into Skyrim, Skyrim mods. What? Oh, are these just mods? Risico? I don't understand what happens with it. This is just... Whoa! Sky oh, it's a calendar. I was like, damn, older art style Skyrim? Damn. 8-bit Skyrim. That's kind of cool. 8-bit Skyrim. Bleak Falls Barrow. Fan-made dungeon. That already exists, dude. Skyrim Guard Origin Story? I gotta just see what this damn thing is. Time to play Skyrim Guard Origin Story. Start. I used to be an adventurer like you, then I took an arrow to the knee. What? That's the fucking whole thing is this shit, bro. Here I go. Ah! Ah! Oh, can't do that. Okay. This is the whole game is don't take arrows to knee and kill mudcrab.jpg. Sha. Yup. Draugr. Yup. Yup. That the entire dragon in one fell swoop. Gotcha. Yep. This is like the chrome dinosaur game, but way better. Draugr. Yep. Okay, now we know how to do that. That's obviously a 10, so let's not even stop to rate it. Uh, what else we got here? Skyrim HTML. Tana, new NPC follower. Oh, hey, Tana. Real Skyrim. This is not a video game. Run experience. Real Skyrim. Start. Crime, kill, talk, magic. Talk. Hi, I'm the guard. You have to come with us so you can slay the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now I'm immersed. What do we do? Oh, fuck. Um, talk. You know I'm not actually all that bad. Wanna just go on a date with me instead? Um, yes, no. No! Kill. You beat the game. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, uh, Todd has done it again. Shit. That's, uh... Like it. Yeah, game of the year. That's obviously a 10, so not even going to dwell on that. Good, good, good. End. Now go for the good ending. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. You begin your adventure. You are going to jail, but a dragon yells at you, and you get to go home. Your first task is to go talk to a guard, I think. I've never really played Skyrim. <laughs> crime. You commit crime in front of guard. Hey, stop. You're going to jail. Ba bad end. Okay. No, we'll play it again. You beefed it. <laughs> Alright, I dig it. I dig it. St start. Kill guard. Another guard sees you and you go to jail. God damn it. Bad end. You beefed it again. 
S start. Talk. Hi, I'm the god. You have to come with us so you can slay the dragon. Talk. You know, I'm not actually all that bad. Want to just go on a date with me instead? Yes. You go on a date, it is nice. D Good end. We've, uh, well, we've done it, frankly, so. Good to know. What is towel required? It's like Skyrim with towels. I feel like this is going to be TOS. Like I'll see an old pixelated wiener. I just work here, dude. I don't know. It looks fun. I'm just afraid I'll see freaking balls and wieners on this one, though. Gosh, check mod cord. Okay, I will check mod cord. It's dixelated. Stay hydrated, boy. I like it. All right, I'm checking it. I was able to... Oh, you... Whoa! How'd you do that? ZX extracted the files from the Ratatatatouille game. Can I just open the thing? Copy file name. H how do I do this then? This is interesting. Can I download this entire... Oh, I bet I can download the entire... Okay, hold on, hold on. Thank you, ZX. Holy shit. Meme and a half? I do really want to play Ratatatouille here. Download anyway. Another zip file, but maybe a clean one. Extract all. Extract. Yes! Oh, dude, we're going to play Ratatouille? <sighs> I like it. Oh, okay. I think we're going to be able to play it. Thank you, dude. Yo, ZXSQ just got us Ratatatouille. I got to go pee. I will be right back. But you guys keep an eye on things over here, okay? One second. You guys want to swig before I head? No? Okay, that's great. That's good to know. Didn't taste that good anyway. You didn't miss out. One sec.
Fuck, sorry about that. Dude, somebody was like throwing shit and yelling outside my house. I had to go check it out. I don't know what was up, but I don't think they're there anymore. Kind of a juxtaposition to the nice, calm jazz over here, eh? Gus, you trying to get restrained for, uh, for the same thing? I know you're busy just yanking your chain. Oh, yeah. The freaking corn. I'm sorry. I know you're yank yanking my chain. I'll get in there. Also, was that you outside ZX throwing and yelling? Don't lie to me. It's also very cold in my room right now. I'm freezing my ass off. I was thinking, and I think Star Wars Clone Wars would have some entertaining stuff, says Oslorks. Let's check it out. Oh, they have the Game Boy Advance game. Star Wars Clone Shooter. Interesting. I got some stuff here worth checking out. First, we're going to play Ratatatatouille. ZXSQ went and extracted it successfully for us because we're having some issues downloading it. It says, this file extension is either not designated or designed to run on Windows or it contains an error. Try installing the program again using the original installation media or contact your system. And it oh, it doesn't let us play. What is the freaking what what guy? One of the actual best looking games. Like they're not letting us play. Yeah, big boo on that one. Anyway, thank you for looking at that. Um, I appreciate it. <laughs> there we go. That's the solution, by the way. Um, the the dream Gus email for me would be a dancing Gus. That's probably a good idea too. I know. I want to play Rat Chief Shooter as well. We're probably coming close to the end of the stream over here, just so folks know. Um, I know it's not the longest, but three hours has been chill, and it's 9.35 over here. But I'm just kind of doing some casual looking and stuff at this point. I got a little spooked going and looking for the fucking yelling and banging outside, but that's okay. We'll sign off, make a little supper and stuff. Let me check McDonald's. McDonald's dating sim. Baldy loves McDonald's food. Nice. Okay. A lot of good options. Whoa, <laughs> these are just real people pictures. Baldy's McDonald's job. Hey, Baldy. Is this? I never understood the Baldy's basics thing, like why that was so big. Yeah, crazy people yelling outside your uh, places in LA classic. No question. We got I like nugs. Baldy loves chicken. Why is it all Baldy? Barry Rob's McDonald's. The quest for McDonald's. There are more results for McDonald's than there are King of the Hill, dude. You know, says the dude Brandon, I bet if you went outside with a baseball bat filled with nails, then that would scare off anyone. Okay, I'll do that. Do you guys have baseball bat or nails that I could borrow? Unrelated. I wasn't involved in the internet enough to get Baldi's basics. Yeah, I didn't understand it the most either. Guys, by the way, you know how I told that trivia story uh, a couple weeks ago where I said I used to go to a bar trivia and there's one team that would always win. And one time I got there early and I registered as their team name and they told on me. I went again last night with a group of uh, like six people and the team beat us again. I would not gone to that place in six months. They beat us again. We got eighth place. I think people are cheating. I think people are cheating. You do the answers and submissions on your phone and they go, honor system, don't cheat. I think people are fucking cheating, dude. We had six people. The youngest person was like late third. I mean, was like 23. And the oldest person was like 30, I don't know, eight or some shit. How do we lose that? Six people. A range of backgrounds. A diverse set of circumstances. I think people are cheating. You guys want to come be on my trivia team? I'll do it. Pub quizzes are tough. Some real no life show up every week. Yeah, but this seemed like a classier operation, you know? I feel you, Gus. I had that kind of group at my trivia bar, says ZX. They were annoying and kind of unfun after a few months. Yeah. I just feel like people are cheating, dude. It's so lame. But I was just like, I used to go all the time, like... Especially I stopped going like six months ago, but I'd hit almost every week. And I had a period of two or three months where we went pretty much every week. And it was just a two sum that time, but we had a six sum this time. And the best I've ever gotten at that fucking place is seventh place, dude. I'm, I know stuff. Guys, look at me. I, I know stuff. I got my shit together. Just <laughs> let me win the trivia. Let me get top three even. 
Trivia, I'm in. Ask me what four times six is quick. <clears throat> Brandon, what is four times six? We're waiting. Yeah, Tiger, yeah, and things too. C certified stuff no where Gus Johnson, I'm in there. Brandon goes, 20. That's okay. <laughs> Damn it. It was close, Brandon. It's kind of close. You know what? That's close. Enough. Okay, Brandon's on the team. Somebody else has to do a good showing, though. Otherwise, you're not getting on the team. Uh, but, yeah, seventh being the best finish? Come on, bro. That's horrible. That's horrible. I think there were probably, like, 14 teams there last night. Um, but sometimes there's, like, 30 teams. It gets tricky. Mackie, how are you doing, dude? I hope you're having a good night. Good to see you. I'm coming towards the end of the stream here. I was this no life, says Mackie. My buddy and I went every week. And I used to drink and won every week because we're gnarly at trivia. Eventually, the bar asked us to stop winning and agreed to just give us the two free beers that you win for first prize, uh, first prize every week if we'd make it more fun for other people by throwing. Interesting. I didn't know you could graduate trivia. That's pretty big, dude. That's a good story, though. That's fucking hilarious. Mackie, how you doing, dude? Lovely to see you. Ox says, trivia is stupid anyway. It's filling your head with trivial information that shouldn't be in there because there are important things that could fill that space. That's true. Many recipes could fit in there. And several songs. That is kind of fun, though, to graduate trivia so they have to buy you off with beers to be like, dude, it's just... Let them play, dude. Ref, just let them play. There is no God. The, us, uh, the U.S. military runs our government, says Ock. That's true. <laughs> Dude, I'd be perfect for that job, says Brandon. Trivia is fun, though, says ZX. Need to find a group again. Yeah, we got a good group together right now, I think. It was a good group of people, and we, we fucked up a couple ones. There's a, like, in LA, there's a lot more companies that go around. I'm sure it's not exclusive to LA, but you notice more in a, in a huge city like this. There's a bunch of companies that go around and, like, throw the trivias at bars and stuff or restaurants. And I've been to a couple locations that this company has done, and they've been really good. Like, so, and, and especially the host that is always at this bar, she does a great job. So, it's a really tight operation in that sense, but I just feel like people are cheating. It's a bummer. Ferret, what's going on, dude? Best Twitch streamer named Gus Johnson. Which one? Sportscaster? What would he play? What would the sportscaster Gus Johnson play on stream? I think it'd be, I mean, how old is the dude? Sportscaster. 56? He'd probably play Solitaire. <laughs> he'd play Minesweeper or Backgammon. Spider Solitaire. That's probably what he'd do. Nothing banging. Thanks, Ferret. Nice of you to say, dude. Hope you're doing well. I want a Slumdog Millionaire sequel, but it's bar trivia. Ooh, yes. That's kind of funny. That motherfucker plays ping pong. <laughs> Mackie goes, it's unfortunate because the sportscaster Gus Johnson is actually amazing, uh, but I want to hate him. That's okay. Brand loyalty. Thank you. I have like aunts and uncles and my grandparents too that just play solitaire on their iPads or phones and stuff. And like, you guys, that's, that's fine. But you know, there are like any other games, right? Like there are several million options. Nope. Everybody just plays Spider Solitaire. Anybody's uh, old relatives do that too? My grandma does, his dumbass. Yeah, it's just I'm like, dude, you're not even... I'm there. Even if you just want to play Solitaire, there are more cool, visually appealing versions of this. You could level up. I don't know. Is that appealing? And just, nope, just want to play regular default-ass Solitaire. I don't know. Torlord says there's almost four games. That's true. That's true. Round that up a little bit. Uh, not since they added friggin' ads. That does stink, though. He kind of looks like Gus Fring. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope not. I'm catching up here. Yeah, no, I'm not a solitaire guy. I would do Minesweeper and stuff. And I we used to have this old uh, desktop machine. I don't know what the game was, but uh, my uncle gave me this old PC. I don't remember the system that it ran. I think it might have been, like, 95, but it had this really slow button based startup I, I would I'm not as computer literate to be able to tell you what it was but it was so old and it was from the 90s and 
Uh, I remember they had this game on there where you had this mouse and it operated a toy soldier that had to pop balloons. Just beep, 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 beep. beep. So you, you had to like move them back and forth to like pop balloons and I'd play that all the time. You got an old gateway, Perpy Slurpy? Sp Spider Solitaire Esports team coming soon. That would have the Werther's original sponsor on it. That makes sense. The ski game with the Yeti was my favorite, says Slim. I dig that. Oh, also pinball is is very good. I would go play 3D Space Pinball on my grandpa's work computer. My grandpa used to be a teacher, and then he also ran community television out of the high school with using students, and they go cover community events in a town of a 1,000 people. It was so great. I've talked to you guys about this sometimes, too, but my grandpa, like... You know what I, you know what I love? I don't know if I've said this, but my, I, and also, sorry, I'm just in story time. I'm probably not going to play any more games, but I'm just talking before we head off. Um, I'll turn this very, very white screen off, though. Fireplace, no ads. Think. I'm just hanging at the end of the night. Um, my grandpa used to be like he used to run this community television system or, or station out of the high school like i was telling you and this was like i think 80s and 90s generally and my grandpa told me he, he's talked to me a bunch about doing this work at the time but one thing that really stood out to me is he goes uh i used to go to the kids that were like gifted and that had capabilities but might be more troublemakers and stuff and like if they'd get into trouble and get sent to the office I'd go to them and I'd just like, he'd say, we'd just take a walk outside the school and I'd say to them like, hey, you know, you can keep working against some of the other staff members or students and that's fine. Or you could come work with me and I can kind of teach you to do stuff and I will let you kind of do whatever you want as long as you're respectful and you're working hard and you're willing to learn and stuff. And he got several students that otherwise might have had different outcomes better or worse and he kind of pulled them in and and they had a little like van in like the 80s and 90s and they keep in mind this is a town of a thousand people in wisconsin he'd like load students into the van they cover community events and stuff you know art sales and stuff and f the fair and sporting events and they had broadcasts and announcers in the 80s with like no resources like he went down to government buildings in wisconsin he went down to the capitol and like I can't remember specifically the the like body that he talked to, but it might have been, I can't remember if it was the Congress or something, but he got some funds and he got access to a local radio station and a television station so that they could broadcast this stuff at like a super cheap rate. Super interesting guy. But um, yeah, I've talked about him a few times before. But anyway, that's a long tangent to say that in terms of early video game stuff too. I used to go to his office in, high, in the high school when at the time I was probably like five or six, I'd go play a 3D space pinball on his giant setup. Of course, he had the best computer setup, you know, 2001, 2002, and I'd play it with the speakers on high. Just all the sound effects and stuff. So anyway, isn't that such a great quote, though, as an educator? I'm about to sign off, so I'm just in whatever the fuck mode for the last five, ten minutes. But isn't that a, like a great mentality to have as an educator? It's just like you can work against other staff members and students and you might get into trouble or have consequences. Or you can work with me and I can teach you some cool stuff and let you do what you want as long as we show respect to each other. That's so good. Um, ZX says, I lost track of the stream. How did we get to Fireplace Simulator? <laughs> we got to it because I am warming my hands before I head out into the cold of the rest of my evening. Um... Mashed Tato says that's crazy. Superior is like 30 times bigger, and Duluth is a few times bigger than that, and they don't have student reporters roving around. Well, it's just like they had multi-cam setups at the time, too. Like, in some places, they had two or three cameras running to, like, a live switchboard that they'd have a student in the van. And so I told my grandpa, I, and I honest to God mean this, you know, if I have the opportunity to make, like, a... a scripted series like that i would totally want to make a little series about students in like the 80 or 90s in like the av club i want to call it community television you know and i want to just have it be this kind of like rogue teacher that is really fun and positive you know but other staff members in a more antiquated mindset closed-minded area are at odds with and stuff and i want to have them go around and have stuff happen in the 80s and 90s wouldn't that be such a fun setting to just do like a naturally fun interesting storytelling comedic diverse you know like 
story format. I, I think that would be great. I've, I've got a lot of notes on that, but um, yeah, he, he lived that real life. It's cool. I still got a bunch of old community television pens and pencils and notebooks and stuff. They had, they had fucking merch, bro, in the 80s, dude. Community television, you know, phone numbers and stuff. Grandpa was hitting them conversions, dude. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mackie. Anyway, I appreciate you listening about that, but I just thought that was so cool, though. I would love to see that as a series, uh, Chibo Solo says. Yeah, I think that would be a cool one. I love the old golf course show series. Interesting. Yeah, dude, I that was a fun one. I probably made that like seven or eight years ago. I learned a ton since then, but that was really enjoyable to make. Stressful. I, I wore so many hats, but everybody that was involved did a great job, and I re- always appreciate that they did that. Um, Phoebe, thank you. I'm glad you're having a relaxing evening. Toy Lord says, I had a biology professor in college that told me I could get extra credit if I stitched together the bones of a boiled chicken. It took me months, but I finally did it. When I turned it in, he told me it was not, or he was not serious, and I didn't get the credit. <laughs> anyway, P.O. Box. Hilarious. All right, well, I'm glad you had that learning experience, Toy Lord. Thanks for the 50, guy. Hilarious. Fireplace chat and Gus is nice. Thanks. Like I said, I don't know if... This is probably the only stream night I'm going to get all week, so that's why I'm just milking it at the end. I, I'm just going to change the title. I just, I'm just chatting before I hang off. Um... Boom. Updated. Vibes immaculate. I, I Like I said a million times, dude, it, with such a nuts a week, I appreciate that there's a good, solid group of core people that come around and hang out and talk to each other between streams, check in with me, and just kind of, like, engage and stuff. Yeah, I don't get too hung up on, like, buzzwords like, oh, this big community, and, like, this is so... You know, like, shit like that, but really there's several people that come through and keep tabs on folks lives both for me my brother my family and stuff and other people in chat and that's really really cool that we can do that together i'm really glad you're here um the backwards fire is sucking embers in oh no no it kind of looks like it's going out are they just like looping it it's probably what's happening i appreciate that captain nemo gushers gushing best chat in the world i bet eh, i'd say top top eight thousand all right <laughs> You think I'm joking? Don't shake the box that you get from me in the mail. Okay, I won't. Tad, what's up? Looking real Midwestern businessman dad winding down after work right now. Pocket pits. Yeah, I got the sleeves rolled, the sweat in the pits. No, now I'll be dad. Ta-da. There we go, Ted. Thanks for the 45. That's how they looped it, mashed tato. That makes sense. Good to see you as well, Haley. I hope you had a nice week so far. Also, I'm just thinking, I was like, man, we got we got some more Red Dead. Did you guys see the Fallout trailer, by the way, today for the new Amazon Prime series that comes out in a few months? Brandon goes, Gus, shake the shit out of my box that comes in the mail. Okay, Brandon, I will. You guys saw that one? Brandon saw it? It's Dude, can, should we watch the trailer together? It's like two minutes. I feel like we got to. That's me. Uh, video game adaptations. I fear them, says Mackie. Last of Us might be the only one ever. Last of Us was definitely a bop. I really hope that this is a good series. Uh, let's check this out. This is the new Fallout Amazon Prime trailer. It just came out today. So, boink. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. Here we go. Uh, uh, there we go. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. That looks fucking the cool. Camelot of the nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man. Hey. You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a Vault Tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you to build a better day after. of the vaults should be important to everyone. So 
come up to the surface one day and restart civilization. Can you tell me what's happened in the last 200 years? Holy shit. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. What you're doing is insane. I don't set the world. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. Fire. I Correct music, yes. After the rough week. And practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You need to go home. You come from a world of rules, of laws. You should not be alone. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me? People are going to come after you. God, that looks so cool. Damn, Same bro. Much stays clean up here, Vaulty. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. All the targets are goddamn best. You look out at this wasteland. It looks like chaos. There's always somebody behind the wheel. Oh, Salamander. What is happening here? Big old gecko. If everyone wants to save the world, they just... They disagree on how. There you are, you little killer. That looks so cool, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Oh, dude, he looks so cool. Like I, half of it is just Walton for me, dude. I'm definitely in too, Mackie. I'm in too, but I, I'm nervous. I hope it, I hope it's good. We need Matt Barry in an actual Fallout game. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Vibe seems right. If there's one person I want to see in the show, it has to be the Mysterious Stranger. Oh, that would be a good one. Earl's Day Off. We're going to have to play that one at some point. I'm ready for that, too, dude. All day. Yeah, it seems like the aesthetic is good. I, and I was like, at first, I almost had an issue with the color grading. But I was just like, you know, that looks pretty good. I'm, sure, I'm not sure what I expected. You know, I was like, New Vegas is a lot more yellow and shit. So who knows? But. It does look kind of cool. It looks cool. Gamers, I love you. I hope you're doing well this week. I'm going to sign off right now, by the way. Great way to end tonight. Listening to some smooth jazz and watching the Fallout trailer. I'm going to go make some supper, get stuff cleaned up over here. I will not maybe be on for another couple days. Maybe I'll see you Saturday or Sunday, okay? But Dave's in town until Saturday afternoon. So, Mackie, ZX, Fibby, Haley, Sir Dread, Dutch Toker, Slim. Thank you so much, ZX, everybody. Have a great rest of your evening. I'm going to put the VOD up right away, so check it out if you missed the top part. Uh, best game of the night. What was it for you? I'm thinking definitely not John Pork. Maybe it was the uh, Simpsons shooting game. Definitely not the Ned Flanders one. That was dark as hell, but uh, GG's indeed. Thank you, Brandon. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Hell yeah, dude. Good night, Fippy. We'll see you later. All right, VOD's going up, gamers. Have a good rest of your evening. Bye-bye.